Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing Sunday. Very happy to be here for our all-day Sunday stream. It's going to be about 12 hours stream today for our show number 2609. Kicking things off with the Kestrel A run number 55 of the FTL 101. Going to take it back right to where everything started. Let's hop in the game here, see where we're at, get caught up with the final here in chat and your wonderful support. Then we'll head into our stream. It's going to be a fun one. Hey there, Short Stack. What's up, Dr. Bing Bond? Funky Gornilla. Hydrodo. What's up, Nate? Hey there, Razor. Retskadge. Samurai 7. Uh, Great Rain. Cowbar 53. Gorilla. Athros. Dindy. Hey there, Canis. Valdemar. Pinball Wiz. Glotris. What's up, Looper. NBM. Comic Relief. Hey there, Jesus. What's up, Mythic Applesauce. Senior Bunk. Mini Bus Pug. Hey there, Connexus, Napman, Raffle, Macassabra, and all the rest. Well, feel free to throw out some name suggestions for this fine inaugural vessel. I'm going to grab some names for our crew here, and we'll be uh, in it to win it. Where's that patron list? There it is. I can remember where I left off here, though. That's tough. Look at that. New uh, new name on the list. Gindy. Gindy225. Nice. Thank you, dude. I'll work down this time. Be easier. Dutch. And Soup Rock. So if you start out playing FTL, this will be the first ship that you play, the Kestrelet. This is the base ship for the game. Got Burst Laser 2 Artemis. Pretty decent setup. No augmentations or anything to sell, though. It's uh, a very vanilla start. All right, Slug Solver. I like it. Get him out of here. All right, one moment. Much better. Just had to fix the position of my chair, and now we are off. Thank you all for initiating the hype train. Before we even get started here, before we do my opening spiel on FTL, let me get all caught up here. Neville, thanks for 37 months. Dindy, 46. Cowbar, 53. 74. Uh, 55, thanks for 45 months. Greg and Balto, 53. And Razor Fulcrum, thanks for 28 months. If you do choose to share your resub notifications subscribe use bits or gift during this time got a chance some exclusive emote unlocks but as always things are the most important thing the time you're choosing to spend here now if you are new to ftl it is the roguelike game of space exploration you work way through eight different sectors of randomly generated space the square right here represents one sector map the lines within will be the rebel fleet chasing us pushing us towards the exit uh, and beyond into sector two we got seven regular sectors and then a three-phase flagship fight in Sector 8 before we've won our run. If we die at any point, hull reaches zero, um, we're done. Uh, we also collect this value right here, scrap, to invest in our ship, purchase at stores, etc. And we're off. Okay, um, let's just go down here. There's going to be a lot of room to move around in this sector. We give ourselves the best chance of finding all of the stores. Yo, cheesy Bob, thanks for those hundred bits. Energetic Apty, thanks for 37 months. Thank you. All right, no distress for me this early. I'm good. All right, sensor station could be massive here. Okay, it's a little scary. I'm going to try to save a missile here, though. That was really lucky. Our shield was up at the perfect time to block the mini beam. You gotta like that. Hey, El Grappadura Rojo, thanks for 15 months, and Crackside, thanks for 25. Thank you, everybody.
Boom, boom. So should know you only start with eight missiles on this ship. You should definitely use the Artemis early if you think there's any real danger. But um, I felt like this ship was one volley and probably solved, so I held. All right, map reveal. Here we go. Two stores in the back, too. Hmm. Okay. Like, I'm not against the idea of getting, uh... Here we go. One, two, three, four. This seems like a very nice route to go back here. Going one, two, three, four, five, and then we go over here somewhere. I don't know about diving on this map, but certainly a possibility. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I mean, I could, I could hit both stores on the way out to a dive. Seems reasonable. All right, so this way I get four, five, six fights. This is pretty good, too. Now, I'm going to take this path. I got a feeling about it. Yo, awesome, Greg. Congrats on that, dude. Nice work. Yeah, I'm hoping the uh, Blunarius event is back up soon. They took it down due to some uh, some bug that was happening. Whatever that may be. Ion bomb miss, that's nice. Yeah. Let's take a look what's going on in there. Okay, they got an engineer, of course. Maybe I can hit twice this time. There we go. Man, engines are good at repairing. All right, 16 scrap, nice. Okay, so this ship I'm probably gonna fire an Artemis out. I don't really want to play with three lasers versus my one shield. There is the potential that this volley could possibly disable our weapons. It didn't. Let's take a look real quick. Probably engineer again. Yeah. Go here. There we go. Hey, what's up, casually? 13 scrap a do. Alright, let's get Dutch shield up here. Hey, hey, Ramrod42. Thanks for 60 months, man. Thanks a lot. Renlith dropping 54 as well. Non-stop bonanza right now. So I'm very tempted just to buy two shields here because I'm getting at least three fights before the stores, but uh, wouldn't we like to have more at the store? Take a little risk here. Let's be a hero and attack the pirate. Okay, these two things are going to time out well together. Uh, I believe the Artemis will fire before the mini beam hits. That's my current uh, guess. Oh, maybe not. 
Okay. Um, we have an unchecked beam drone going off. Not cool. Frankly, I should have fired the burst laser at the drone there, but I did not. We're good now. Okay, these are going to be disjointed. We're fine. Enemy FTL charging. I don't think so. Okay, jump imminent. We're just firing out here. There we go. That was kind of a nasty ship, but we survived. And if we would have had uh, two shields there, it would have been a pretty slam dunk event. Okay, this stuff's nice, but not nice enough to buy. Hey, Vicious Sig, thanks for 58 months. Thanks a lot. Still gonna stand by my decision here to save for the next store. Okay, how many jumps is it until the exit? It's three. Now I'm gonna stick with this. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. That was eight damage. Attack him before he can attack. All right, so similar situation here, but uh, on this one, after the first firing of this, there's much less threat. They're not going to be back on the same timer until five more times they fire now. So I'll take a little clip here. Yep. And then after that, we're feeling pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and fire Artemis out here. Please hit. Thanks. Go. We we're good. Repairs are still very cheap at this point in the game, too. I'm good. What kind of ship they got going on over there? Classic humanitis. I also have the option to go one store here and go one, two, three, four and get maximum fights here. That's pretty tempting. Might do that. I can escort you. Okay, Ford Scout of the Rebel Fleet is going to try to run right away. Um, on this one, these don't time out very well at all. 8 seconds, 12 seconds, so the first volley is not even going to be either. I am going to use an Artemis because this is a scout, so I want to get this disabled as quickly as possible. Okay, they got Repair Drone too, that's a little rough. I'm going to spend another missile here. I am uh, definitely concerned about this ship getting away from us. Yo, Key, you finally got that triple crown win. Congratulations, dude. I know you were a long time trying for that. Very happy for you. Big accomplishment, Key. Nice work. All right, I'm going to take the double store. Um, No, I'm not going to buy fuel. The sector was okay. We got 100 scrap, which is nice. We've not purchased shields yet. Okay, backup battery. Backup battery is definitely a temptation because it's cheaper power, but does it leave us enough to buy the weapon we'd want to? Not really. I think I gotta leave that be. I 
Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, so we are going into Sector 2 without having purchased two shields, which is not ideal. Um, but we do have Artemis to get past this dive. I'm going to go three engines. Oh, I bought one too many uh, repairs there. Fair enough. Um, I'll still go three engines here. We can drop our O2 for this. Uh, we're going to go two shields, and we're going to go into weapons as soon as we enter Sector 2, uh, provided we survive. I believe. Okay, good news. Um, this ship has a Vulcan and a one laser on the other side, so if we hit with the Artemis, the Vulcan's down, which is definitely the threat here. Okay, sensors down. That's an acceptable hit. Yo, Gothelsby, thanks for 71 months. Vicious Sig with 58, 2, Grinleth 54. Literal bonanza. Definitely pirate controlled here. Okay. Well, we got some goals now. Two shields, bring the flak online. If we can do that here in Sector 2, we're feeling pretty okay. It's like a very Kestrel A run. I'm glad we got a weapon uh, to go with this setup, but definitely a sketchy start. Um, okay, let's try maybe... This is a really weird exit. Okay, well, there is a way out, at least. Like in one, two, three, and then head over here. Ooh, this is, this is a dead end. So it looks like we're not going to get our quest. I should just accept that right now, because there's no exit from here. Also, since the quest was just a potential store, um, probably worth not going to. Two, three, four. Okay, uh, what's on the inside of the ship? Three Mantis, my dude. All right, so I'm going to start by firing out at O2 here. See what happens with that. Yo, French Toast Mafia, thanks for two awesome months. Much appreciation. I would describe FTL as a real time action with pause roguelike space strategy game. <laughs> Got a lot going on. Hoping this sector has a little more scrap than the last one, so we can kind of stabilize a bit. Certainly not in a bad position, especially once the flak one's online. Yeah, I think O2 kill here is reasonable. Ooh. 
Oh yeah, getting red in there. Takes man his 15 full seconds to repair something, so uh, ships are pretty pretty slammed. I'm gonna load the Artemis up just in case they try to run. I don't think they will, but they might. That should be it. Yeah, I was going to say that should be it right there. Three fuel, 19 scrap. Nice deal. Okay, we're getting closer now. So it is tempting to take this quest because it could be a repair or store or something else that I want, but I don't think so. I think there's plenty of room in the back of this sector. They don't need to take this jump. So I'm going to take these four. It's nebula time. Yo, we got a fourth crew. Awesome. Get you a new name, buddy. Your gear. I think I want to hit the exit from back here, actually. Okay, let's go this way. Intruders on board. Okay, we're just going to vent these guys to the med bay. Nice and easy. I should probably let my O2 stabilize here before we jump away. That'd probably be a good idea. How much is it for weapon power? I mean, going from Artemis, uh, Flak Burst Laser 2 is not that not as good as getting two shields right now. We're saving for two shields first. Okay. Alright, looking good, looking good. Engine hack's not so cool, but this should be a pretty straightforward fight. And a very Artemis A. Or Kestrel A run, a heart of Miss A. All right, let's go ahead and repair that now. Um, I'm just gonna wait to fire at weapons here. Let's see what kind of crew they have repairing over there. All right, they got Manus and a human. Um, I can get this human out of the room right now. Hmm, what if? What if this fire spreads again? Okay. So this guy does not have health anymore. Ooh, it's spread again. Uh, does not have health anymore. Um, so if I can get him low enough, which seems reasonable. This fire could get the kill for us. Wow, that was really fortunate, dude. It jumped from here to here to here to here again. Yo, Lazoo, triple five. Thanks for 11 months. Much appreciation. Very cool crew kill.
just enough hole left as well. It's pretty, pretty cool, man. So them having level 2 or level 302 is enabling this, because on top of the fires, the fires aren't pulling the O2 out of the room fast enough. Alright, when he dies, are you below 15? You are. I'm just going to fire out once here. Boop. Got him. Oh, look what I have enough to buy right now. Two shields. That's an easy purchase for me. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it should be nine right here. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, exit. Looks good. What we're getting. Right. Only need one shield here. Get back to your systems, guys. I know he's going to use Artemis here. We're going to be loading up the flak as soon as possible. And then uh, the Artemis will be much less important. Okay, we got a breach there. So if I hit O2... If I hit O2, the weapons room should be out of oxygen. I don't think a crew kill's happening here, but I don't know that. Oh, they got it fixed. Sons of guns. Whoa. 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 Take everything we have, and let's both forget this happened. Five fuel, six missiles, 20 scrap, and a combat drone Mark II, which sells for 37. I accept. Those guys know how to bargain. I need at least one more power before I upgrade weapons, that's for sure. Alright, you guys get healed up here. Should definitely be stores back here. Yeah, that definitely felt like an everything they had type offer, I agree. Nice bargain. All right, three lasers that probably won't fire here. As long as we hit with one of our lasers, uh, we're good. And the chain laser doesn't fire till 16 seconds. Burst laser two fires at 12. Should be all gravy. We're good. store right here so is there another way for me to path through this not really i can go one two three and i will just selling off the combat drone is a adequate goal here i don't see how i don't dive here though right, let's make sure this is right one two three four five six yep one two three four five six boom boom I'm in. Okay, it's 35 for weapons. Oh, I just goofed. Dang it. You know, maybe missing that's not the end of the world.
Yeah, we're just cutting this door. I should have hit the store there before I jumped up, but... Okay. We couldn't really afford to buy anything with the store, so... That's good. Soup Rock, our weapons guy, just got mind-controlled. Okay. Or just got taken over. But we'll fight them in the med bay. That's generally how it works, yes, Greg. That or uh, they're running at the start of the fight. Those are the two options. Hey, everything worked out. This would have been basically a dead store if I had taken the other ones, so no real harm. I would love to buy hacking here. It's not going to happen, though. Okay. How about we buy at least one power bar here? Oh, this is, like, too good to be true. We're going to go for it. Um, actually, we don't need the flak yet. Let's go ahead and purchase a small repair here to 23. Good. Okay, it's a rock. I can't upgrade here anyways. Yo! A settlement still loyal to the Federation hails your ship. They prepared a weapon to aid your escape from the rebels. First laser mark two. Do I want one of the best weapons in the game? I guess. All right, so the problem right now is the dive. Um, we definitely want our weapon online, but at the same time, I want to be able to power all my engines. So can I do both? Not really. I need a power bar and the upgrade, which is not within distance. I think I still do it, though. Okay, this one right here, if the Artemis hits, we're good, so we're just going to power up like this. Please hit. Thank you. This is uh, exactly what you want to see on a dive. Uh, this setup, just like the last sector, we just got to hit with one missile and then we're good. Now we want to have... Um, the ASB not hit our piloting or engines. That's basically it. Looks like, oh, it looked like engines, but it wasn't. That breach is actually okay to leave there. There's no reason for any crew to ever enter that room. Okay, we're going. 
Civilian sector sounds neat. Hey there, Zealousy. Wonderful to see ya. Alright, there's that. Wow, that connects upward? Amazing. So I'm gonna go over here, and then up, and then over, and... Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so I'm gonna go up, and then I'm gonna go over down here. Come up this way. If I want to dive, I can do so back here, but... We'll see about that. I think maybe no dive this sector. And on that note, do I want to take this first? I don't think so. I think I'm going to start here. Okay, they're trying to get away, of course. I'm going to split my volley here. Good. Ship definitely can still hit us. It's possible. So what I'm going to try to do, since I know this is only a three-crew ship, I'm going to try to hit different systems. There we go. This will stop their, their running. Or not. Okay, 21 scrap, nice. Certainly a power bar is not wrong here. Alright, don't really got the stuff for distress beacons, but maybe. Maybe. Um, I do not have any of the prerequisites for this. Sorry. I don't want five hole damage right now. Okay, breach missiles, nice seller right there. Honestly, he may just go to load the Artemis in here pretty soon. That would be um, pretty good. We have nine projectiles set up, which is definitely good enough without hacking. Always hacking is preferred, but uh, we got a really nice setup right now. That's what I'm getting at. Yo, yeah, Kager, okay, thanks for 23 months. Appreciate that. Enemy FTL charging. I'm good. Okay, there's a store. Nice. We got stuff to sell here. At least breach. As good of a time as any. Mind control's interesting. Oh, I think functional ship upgrades are just where it's at right now. Let's buy this three fuel. Let's buy a small repair. Okay, another store. How many jumps can I get away with before doing this? Oh, I'm going to take a dive. Quite a few. Well, I can at least go one, two, three. Let's, uh, let's see what that looks like. Had I opened the map beforehand, I may have held off on the repair, but, you know, that's where we're at. My thought is that buying hacking right now is very good. Uh, we're not going to surrender to slabbers. Alright, I think on this one I'm going to load up the Artemis missile. Well, <laughs> I take it back, I take it back. 
If my weapons get hit, I'll load up the Artemis. It was fired at the same time, so it's going to be... Yeah. They're going to be an Artemis themselves. I'm going to load this up here. A much better chance to disable. So as soon as I see that hit, I will load another weapon up. Hey there, mean fella. Welcome back, dude. Jmerk523, thanks for 25 months. Thanks a lot. I mean... This is nice, but... It's very early, and we're likely to get other crew, and we have a store coming up, which could have hacking. So I think we're going to go Surrender's on option here, which guarantees a high scrap reward. Yes, fourth crew is very tempting there, but situationally, uh, I don't think I want that. I think I want the chance at hacking at the store or just upgrading my ship, because we have very functional things to go into, so scrap is at a very high value at this moment. Okay, sensor station, let's go. They were mind control. Hello. Okay, breach in the O2 is not ideal. Alright, I'm gonna swap to Artemis here, and I'm gonna send my crew over to repair this now. Mind control will be done soon enough. Okay, ion to shields. That's fine. Okay, we're good. We're good. scrap and a map reveal. Okay, okay. Definitely interesting. Not skipping the store, though, I'll tell you that right now. Alright. Backup battery, mind control, long-range scanners. Okay, let's take scanners here. Let's buy fuel. Let's repair to 23 again. Let's buy backup battery. So backup battery allows us to float to temporary power. So now we can backup battery into engines. Uh, it does make getting the Artemis online a little bit more desirable as well. All right, well, one, two, three, exit. No dive here. Go ahead and get this last fuel. Spent a lot of money on fuel and repairs so far this run. Yo, Jaxi, and thanks for 24 months. Appreciate the two years. Hell yeah. Quest marker next sector sounds cool. Uh, we will never surrender one of our crew to Schlevers. See, now I'd probably accept a fourth crew. That's a, tr that's a fact. Right, let's run him up here before he destroys the piloting. So this ship can hurt me? Well, not anymore. Let's both go here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit shields next, or try to. Very good.
Ooh, I'm gonna take their surrender here. Okay, let's go ahead and go here. Beep. Looking good. Yikes. This could be a painful event. Yeah, if we are dropping like major frames, like there's minutes of problems, uh, I'd prefer to know. But generally, if there's a few second hiccups with uh, stream or service or whatever, pointing out the frame drops isn't very helpful. I understand why people do it. Just, just so you all know, there's nothing the streamer can do on their end to stop drop frames. So if there's less than, I would say, a 30-second interruption to the service, spamming F or saying frames doesn't really help anything. The vast majority of the time, by the time people are done saying F, it's resolved itself. Oh yeah, I get that, Damerax. I'm just pointing out if you wait 10 seconds, it would accomplish the same thing. I get why. And I certainly don't mind. Just <laughs> patience is good. Okay, let's go ahead and I think load up the Artemis right now. I think. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to do this now. This gives us power for the backup battery. Um, it also gives us somewhere to go. Wow, that is a really nasty ship. Holy guacamole. I am glad right now that I got Artemis online. Please hit. Please hit. Okay. Well, we didn't hit, but we also dodged, so that's good. I'm gonna fire again here. I'm extremely worried about this uh, this weapon right here. It is not a joke. If this hits us uninterrupted, it could take down all of our shielding, and in that case, we have a big problem. Okay, no. Not taking surrender from these guys. There we go. Now this is the kind of ship I want to see. Uh, there are no weapons that are exclusive to only enemy ships, yeah. All weapons are at least starting weapons on some ships. That's the most exclusive weapon you might see would be Mini Beam. Oh wow, he took us down. Fair enough. Okay, that's better.
Okay, shield's going down. Okay, at least we got that fully down. We're good, we're good. They're not getting lasers back online. I got fire in there as well. Awesome. No, I'm good. No surrender. Right, how much is weapons now? 75 to get to a 9 projectile setup. I feel like at this point in the game, Artemis double burst laser is basically comparable uh, to that setup. Probably going to go like one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, something like that going up here. I think this quest was a repair. Pretty sure. All right. Gonna reject the offer here. I'm probably gonna use an Artemis missile on this just to make sure. They're getting boarded by a rock. Yeah, this is hull missile. If I don't fire this out now, it'll probably have a chance to hit us. Yeah, glad I did that. Just depends, Freb. It's um, it's kind of situational. It's never a bad time to train, though I often don't. It just takes time. Okay. Yeah, the lead to their destination event is either going to be an ambush here, or it's going to be like a repair or store. Can be a reactor upgrade as well. Let's get let's get at least here before we decide what we're doing. Dude, what a bonanza right now. Jackson, thanks for two years again. Lord Hubris 51, Architraz 16, and what's the issue? Thanks for six awesome months. Thanks a lot. All right, gotta be just all weapons here, unfortunately. Dude, this is a nasty ship if it gets going. Please hit with the Artemis, thanks. Okay, we missed. Thank you. I needed at least that. More would be preferred. Thank you. Yeah, only, only the missile launcher online. Fair. Enemy FTL delayed. Okay, we're gonna try his shields now. That was good. Oh, six missiles though. Not bad. Yo, Jeff has occurred. Thanks for a tier 3 54 month subscription. Thank you, man. At least the reward from that event was pretty lit. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. One, two, 
Let's just say three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we'll see what it looks like back here, but definitely hit this quest before the store because the quest could make us so we don't have to repair at the store. I'll give you two fuel, even though I'm low. I'm just that kind of guy. Real nice. No ship showing with long-range scanners means it is something. There's a whole repair right there. Oh, and hacking, too. Hello. Hello. All right, hacking's a yes. Uh, fuel is a yes. Repair, uh, yes. All right, now we can guarantee that our projectiles land, though we are definitely behind on defense. Looking good. Okay, I don't care if they shut down the engines. In fact, this is a very non-threatening ship. Okay, Humanitis, what's actually going on over here? Let's just check it out real fast. Okay, we got Mantis and we got Rock. I mean, I think crew kills are really unlikely here, so let's just do this. There we go. I think there is a way to fandangle a crew kill here, but I'd like a little bit. I'd like to not mess with it right now. There we go. Split their resource. I think if we collapse on the initial crew and then swap the position of the crew by damaging separate systems, we could have damaged the uh, O2 and had the Manus be the repairer. These Mantis ship types have the lowest hull, though, so it's a, it's a difficult crew kill, at least. Okay, um... I mean, I do want to take this fight. I'm going to go one, two, three, and then exit. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and use a hacking part here. I'm going to use a hacking part on weapons, in fact. Uh, stop this from firing at us. They boarded with an NG. That's friendly. That's friendly. Good. Nice. Got him. Just see what's going on. They got another engineer and another engineer. They're re engineering. Really? I can believe that. Double fire, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, nice. We're not diving here. That's kind of nice, because we're not really set up for a dive at this moment. Okay, three fuel, and... Well, the Artemis is fine for right now. I, what I want to do is load the flak up, but I don't have the power to do both. 
Yes, actually, I do. Let's take this first. Wow, 25 scrap Zoltan? I mean, that's, a bit, that's cheaper than buying a power bar right now. And I get an additional crew. Okay. I wasn't really going to buy a power bar, but... If you're going to do that... Okay. Uh, let's go pirate controlled over rock controlled. Also get Oni a new name here, which is going to be Tau. Okay, it's the same cost as power, but it does allow us to overpower later. Alright, pirate controlled sector with a bunch of nebulas, huh? Okay, if we're gonna get nebulas here, we wanna get four. So I think I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and then up here. Yeah. I am gonna take these. Um, I think I'm just gonna load up the flak next, so we have nine projectiles, and go immediately into uh, three shields. Attack the pirate. There we go. Alright, this ship can't actually hit us unless this takes down shields, so I'm not gonna hack here. Should be fine. Okay, now we're good. Okay, weapons getting hit. Kind of a toughie. Yo, random 2007, thanks for 91 months. Hell yeah, dude. Enemy FTL charging. Let's try over here. Should be only be a two crewer, I think. Miss. Uh oh. All right, I'm gonna hack um engines here. So they got four engines and a Zoltan. So I got six lasers. Let's just do this. This will disable the uh, engines completely. Five fuel seven missiles. Forty seven scrap and a combat drone. Okay. I accept. That's a very good offer. I'm going to take these two jumps before a store here. Pretty good offer. Okay. Okay, this ship I'm definitely just going for a uh, piloting hack here. Just want to disable their weapons, thanks. Very good. Uh, Prime Utopia, putting a Zoltan in the shield room is only meaningful if you have two Zoltans. Put 
For the hacking engines, fine. I'm gonna hack their engines as well. Okay. Unless we'll stop him from repairing that at least. Okay, so I can do two damage with my lasers right now, which is what I'm gonna do. Also gonna swap this in front just in case. And I am absolutely gonna go Artemis into shields here. Wow, we dodged at 15%. That was nice. That was nice. Let's do this. Miss. Okay, fair enough. I'm just gonna chill out here, make sure I get the hit I want. Okay, well. I'm just going to sell combat drone here, and it looks like we're just going to be buying ship upgrades. Fine with that. Okay, let's go ahead and get uh, three shields, two power bars to start. Then our next upgrade is going to be upgrading weapons by one to get flak online. But the Artemis will be the bridge uh, for us to get there. How many jumps to the exit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plenty of room. I am going to take these nebulas here, though a bit of a risk. Long range skaters makes it less so. Intruders on board. Where at? We got sensors. Where else? That's it? Just a double boarding party? Okay. Okay. Gonna give him a quick old swap aroni here. We're gonna walk him through. Oops, I did that wrong. Select these crew. Gonna select these crew. There we go. Yo, Rocket Bash Backdraft, thanks for 32 months. Bonanza already today for our all-day sun Sunday stream. So thank you all for the wonderful support and continued opportunity to be here. <sighs> I'm really not too keen on fighting in a Pulsar right now, though we do have a good setup for it. Still dangerous. Long range scanner. Bam. What's up, Nikos? Exactly. We turned down that crew earlier, right here. That's the reason. It's going to avoid the pulsar. Uh, pulsar can be run ending. It seems like a very unnecessary risk at this moment. Yo, Zorian, thanks for 88. 12 more for that 100 club. You're doing it. Okay, what haven't I seen so far? 
seven. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna go up here first, just in case there's fights back here. Got room. Hail to him. Uh, yes, I will take that trade. Thank you. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, after these two jumps, we can definitely get flak online. It's definitely happening for us. Nine projectiles with hacking. Sounds very good. Ooh, let's be a hero and attack the pirates. So these guys are going to offer a reward. I don't feel like I need to fire uh, hacking out right away here. Two damage and they're disabled, more or less. Holy guacamole, it's going to be one squishy humanitis. Leave the room for a second, dude. Oh, they left the room too. Shenanigans. Okay, we'll get these guys ready. Yeah, just like that. Everything's fine. The ship also has no med bay, no clone bay. Um, yeah. Okay, what's actually going on over here? a lot of Manti, dude. Alright. How much health does this guy have? 85? Hold on. There's only Mantis left on the ship. Collapse. If we can get crew kill here... Um, I mean, this seems reasonable. I really doubt it's a crew kill, but I'm gonna find out. Okay, he's almost dead. try this real quick. I don't think this is actually the right play, but yeah, that's what I was worried about, man. I'm trying to get away. Okay, no crew kill for us because running. Yo, Frozen Fire, thanks for 27 months. Thank you. Uh, no. No, no. Double reward, please. Destroy the ship and salvage it. That's us. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring on... This here. Artemis has been good, but now we have nine projectiles on a rather fast timer. Okay, here we go. Ooh, nasty. I guess to put it simply, foe, you're not going to win every run, but you can probably win most runs with perfect play. I am not a perfect player. Nor am I trying to win every run. That was nice. Uh, I think using hacking now is a little overkill. Should be fine. I uh, don't accept surrender. Yo, Yan Ray, thanks for 53 months. Hell yeah, dude. Got him. Okay. Go one, two, three, exit. Easy peasy. Yeah. 
Yeah, so the general idea is you, but you got it. Uh, there's no reason any crew would ever enter this room, so it just basically is an extra door out to space, and we do vent. Yo, what's up, Dale? Yeah, you're right. Weapons are looking great right now. All right, that was a patch up, so it's either going to be an ambush or a store next sector. Cool. Let's not surrender our crew to schlavers. Uh, hull breaches don't cause any hull damage, casually challenged. I see where you're going with that, but I think you misunderstand the mechanic. I'm gonna accept an engineer here for sure. A fully trained repair engineer as well? Hell yeah. Get on board, man. Uh, for further clarification, casually, uh, if you have a system that doesn't have power, like if you have a ship with no weapons, uh, you definitely leave the weapon system damaged in that case. So that can't be damaged again by fire, but breaches themselves are just an affix of the ship. They're not, uh, they're not associated with your hull. Get an NG crew right before NG homeworlds. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I would like to take some jumps before the store. In fact, as many as possible. So let's go down here first. I believe system repair drones have a uh, 2.0 repair modifier, where NGs have 1.5 base. I think that's it. They might both be 1.5, though. Alright, let's attack the pirates. What's that, Penny? What'd you bring me? Nice. My cat's such a good provider. Penny, you're going nuts right now. Wow. Wow, Penny. Well, that's the only one right there. Cool. Okay, I'm going to reject the offer and continue our assault. Hell yeah, that was a really nice reward. Could even put us in range of cloaking, which would be the next thing I want. Intruders on board. Okay, this is all Mantis on the ship. They do have Glaive Beam, though, so be careful. My point is an O2 kill could be possible in the right situation. Um, I'm not going to use a hacking part here, mostly because it's a real pain in the ass to get uh, around. If we disable one of their weapons, we're good here. Dude, that is one beefy Mantis. Holy guacamole. Let's check this out real fast. What's going on in there? Good. Okay, 
Okay, we got double fire in here, and that could very easily spread out. So I'm going to try to hit O2 now. See what happens. Yeah, I guess that's not going to happen. Very good. 36. All right. Well, we got two jumps before we have to go to the store. Actually, no, we don't. We have one jump before we have to go to the store. I could sell Artemis Missile here for cloaking, potentially. Hell yeah, free stuff. Must be NG Sector. There it is. Okay. I'm gonna buy cloaking now. Gonna buy two repair. My next goal is to get engines up enough that we can contend. One, two, how many jumps to this? Five. I definitely want to hit this on the way out. So. All these don't connect up. Okay. Okay. Might even be missing the quest here, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, we don't get to the exit properly otherwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I miss a jump like that. Um, can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Miss a potential ship fight there. I think to get the quest, though, that makes sense. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, this can be eight, can't it? No, it's seven. Okay, down here then. I'm gonna go ahead and use a hacking part here because there is a off chance that the ship becomes very dangerous. It's not likely, but it's possible. I'm second guessing my decision now. Yeah, it could. It could. I also probably have decent evasion here at two shields. Feeling better already. I should not be hanging out in the med bay. That's a bad idea. Alright, both Nikos and Junpeng both need new names here. It'd be Boris and Staunch. Okay. Scrap a do. All right, let's get these guys renamed. All right, it's going to be Boris and Staunch. Oh, you don't want crewing out your med bags. If your med bay gets hacked, you can lose your crew very easily. Improve reactor for two drone parts, two missiles. I gotta do this, because it's a spending non-scrap resource on a scrap upgrade. That's what you want. Okay, NG crew member contact. Quest marker added to map in next sector. Dang, dude. Why do you do that? Two, three, four. I could double dive to get this NG quest. So... 
think I'm going to do this route here. I'm going to go one, two, three, exit. We do miss a jump that way, but we don't miss out on getting the NG homework quest, which is going to be a full heal and a lot of scrap later. So I think this is definitely worth, and we still make this quest too. A possible two stores here. Okay, so the ship's going to be trying to run from us. It's a fact, so we're going to hack just to stop that. ship is very non-threatening. I'm going to start by hitting engines here. Ooh, double fire too. Beautiful. Yo, okay, SWA. Thanks for 55 months. Thank you, dude. And my pleasure. Glad you're still finding it enjoyable. Okay, cool. So we're going to let them go now. Uh, the quest marker added to the next sector is going to be the NG Homeworld events. Cool. I gotta say, Automated Reloader looks pretty strong here. I am going to go Automated Reloader. Believe it or not, this does make it a lot safer. Also going to kind of hope that this isn't a store, but uh, I don't think we're going to do better than this right now. I don't always buy Automated Reloader, but when I have a fast-firing weapon system, it makes so much more sense. Yeah, cool. Whole lot of nada here. Going to buy uh, two fuel. Oh, cool, Cryosity. Thanks for clarifying that. Appreciate it. I believe it. Rebel controlled or rock controlled Sector 7. Definitely not the strongest ship uh, defensively here. I think I'm going to go for rebel controlled. Okay, I got a lot of upgrades to get before I uh, go any further here. Double quest back here, huh? I guess we're diving then. All right, excuse me for just one moment. Just using the restroom real fast. Alright, we're back. Um, what am I going to buy here in Sector 7 that's going to stabilize the run? We need at least like 4 or 5 engines, level 2 backup battery. Um, level 3 hacking would be ideal, though I don't know if we're going to make level 3 hacking on this particular run. We do know we can end this sector with a nice repair. So let's just try to get as much scrap as possible out of the sector to upgrade our ship, which is what I need. Okay, enemy FTL charging. They do have combat 2 ion. Noted. Let's see what's up with this. 
Okay, they have level 3 piloting. That's tough. Luckily, after our first volley here, they'll have no piloting. I'm gonna wait till this fires the cloak. Okay, that's bad. We can still hit for two damage here, though. That's the cloak right there. Uh, I'm gonna hit on drones here. Alright, feeling better already. Uh, Asinor, that's an interesting question. I don't really feel there's much functional difference between Burst Laser 1 and Burst Laser 2 for timing. It's only one second, so automated reloader makes up the difference either way. I guess to answer your question, I prefer to have more projectiles. I'm going to go down here. we got room to go back around if we need to. I'm not necessarily interested in stores right now. Interested in scrap. Okay, cloaking hack, fine. I don't see why I need to use a hacking part here. I would even go even a little bit further and say that getting the two volleys off underneath the level three hack is uh, almost kind of like a fringe strategy. You usually only activate that when you have a run that's already going exceptionally well. So I uh, would almost always choose the higher projectile weapon versus uh, a potential second volley on the flagship. Hope that clarifies for you. Good question. Okay. So this that's a pulsar. I don't want to do a pulsar, sir. It's like we don't really have a choice though. Definitely going down here. Okay, there is a, a, a secondary option here. Does this connect to the exit? No. So the secondary option would be to go back here first. My thought is when we get the NG Homeworld quest event, the titanium system plating is going to be a bit, um, well, I guess it's fine. It's just I prefer to sell it at a store. That's all. Yeah, okay, this is it. Very dependent on ship layout, Corello. So if an enemy ship is trying to run and it's not automated, I would say that uh, engine hack is better most of the time. Sector 8 can have one store in it, max. And often that store is overtaken. Basically, Corella, you don't want the enemy crew locked inside the piloting room. If they're trying to run. Sensors for 11, huh? 
for 11. You know, I want to do this, but at the same time, I have a crew demand sensors and we're very low on scrap. I'm actually going to decline this even though it's over half off on that sensor upgrade. I'm going to buy for 90 here. We'll get this weapon power online. Artemis wouldn't be bad. No, let's just hold off for a sec. What's up, Crook? Sensor station. All right. That's a lot of ion, my dude. Alright, so I'm going to get 5 damage on weapons. That's adequate. Debating just hitting piloting here, but that'll fully disable. No, we've not seen any slug ships this run. Raffle, not one. No slug sectors, no slug vessels. Looking great. 28 and little reveal going on. Okay, okay. Let's figure out our path now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like it to me. Pulsar, asteroid, there. Okay. So we're about to go into Pulsar. Do I want to upgrade weapons before then? Probably. Let's just go ahead and do this now. Not, like, super keen on this idea, but if the Pulsar is really bad, they got a nasty weapon system, the extra two damage could be the difference between first volley disable or not. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I'm glad I got this now. Okay, we just established that we can do five damage to weapons with our first opening volley. That's good. Turn O2 off real quick. Okay, weapons went down as well. That is tough for us. We still have a functioning weapon here. I gotta have system repair, right? I was hoping their drones were gonna go down. Batteries down as well, fine. No way, dude. Dude, KSWA, if I did miss you earlier, thanks for 55 months. Sorry for being immersed. All right, let's wait for ion damage to be fully cleared off the ship. looks good right here all right we are free of ion damage hooray i'll shield them okay took damage to the hole that's fine we know we're getting a repair back here somewhere What do I want to 
want to buy now? Uh, let's go ahead and go to 5 engine and level 2 backup battery. That's good. I don't think I need a, a part here. Yeah, we're good. Okay, let's go ahead and go here. Yeah, thanks, Greg. Appreciate that. You are correct. I don't want to trap the pilot in the piloting room. You basically only pilot hack when it is extremely disruptive to the enemy's um, ability to repair their ship. There's only a couple of vessel types where it makes a lot of sense. That'll do. Since pilot and engine hack accomplish the same thing, the better question to ask yourself is which is more disruptive to the enemy. And engines is almost always the answer to that. Storage cash sounds nice. I don't know why I did that, but I did. So I'm not going to use a hack part now. Nothing useful. Well, still good. Alright, one of these quests is going to be a rescue store event, and the other one's going to be the NG Homeworlds event right here. Okay. So I think this ship tries to get away from us. This ship is a decent um, example of where piloting hat can be better, because they, they disrupt them from repairing shields. Here and here. That'll do. Ask about the man of ships. There we go. 10 hull points repaired. Titanium system casing. 60 scrap a do. Maybe, just maybe, I'm going to buy four shields. That'd be cool. 
was not expecting to get to four shields on this particular run. Aha, uh -huh, this is the not a store rescue. This is something else entirely. All right, so on this one, we're going to hack engines because they are trying to run away, so we do not want to lock their pilot in the room. All right, so I'm going to go for shields here and Artemis here. Okay. I should have cloaked there. Whoops. I'm going to ignore you in attack. Wasting my time over here. Come on now. Just gonna wait for my uh, my own hack here. Get that guarantee. Okay, two hundred and forty scrap a do. Let's figure out what we're getting here. Certainly plenty of good choices. Frankly, I don't see four shields being wrong. You need some value points and additional power, but hey. Okay, ASB danger. Only five parts here. Wowza. Alright, let's just get to load it up right away. Uh, I am going to use a hacking part. Let's just do this. Full disable. Okay, great. Okay, I do need to get this Mantis uh, healed up. I want to make sure the ASB does not kill him. Oops, wrong room. Okay, I could have cloaked that, but I was not aware. Okay, ooh, there's a store right here. Unfortunately, the store is in a bad location. Uh, we have to jump backwards for it, and I don't have any scrap to buy anything. I think we're just going to take the repair stations on our way to the base. Yes. All right. I'm going to continue going repair here. Okay, value O2, value cloaking. Alright, um... I mean, I definitely want to get more scrap, but... To what end? Alright, as long as the flak 2 doesn't fire, we're good. And we can make sure it doesn't right here. In fact, at 5 damage, no even used to even use Artemis here. I'm going to pop one of the shields because I can. We're not going to be using 14 missiles on the flagship fight.
30, huh? That's it? Okay. Well, 30 is enough for this. Prepare to fight the rebel ship. Okay, they got some stuff going on. Rice, man. Oh, that's better. Okay, I can cloak this if it comes in. Well, I don't think it's going to make it. We're good. 45 and a good luck wishes from those guys. Right on. Alright, let's go ahead and buy uh, two power bars here. And we'll take one more fight and by two hacking. Great. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that is kind of yucky. Okay, if we use our full volley, though, here we are safe. I was going to cloak this one. Nedarchy, thanks for 101 months of support. You done did it, man. Thank you. No more missiles, please. All right, a uh, pretty weak reward there, but it'll do. It got us to two hacking, which is safety. All right, we recovered all right here. Managed to get four shields, as I wasn't expecting. We managed to get all of the value points that we would want. Uh, value point 02, cloaking, hacking. Good. All right, here we go. It is time. Okay, where's their hack in the lands? Good question. Okay, on battery is tough, but not the end of the world. One thing I could do with the first volley is fire the Artemis into the cloaking to get a second volley off here. Let's think about that real quick. So we got nine projectiles. It'll do five damage to shields. That is three shield bars. Yeah, I mean, I can fully disable shields by doing Artemis first. Let's do Artemis into cloaking and see if we can get a second volley off. That sounds keen. All 
I didn't mean to cloak yet, but I did. Too close, too close. Okay, that's fine. Just go here now. Okay, good. We're not getting crew kills here, unfortunately, but everything else is looking nice. I want to fight them at the base phase two, so I'm going to jump over here. Wow, game you do. Thanks for five awesome months. Appreciate that prime continuation. Thank you, dude. Okay, two drones. Pretty chill setup, though. Hacking landed on my hacking. The rehackening. Okay, did not destroy my part. 50% chance there. I'm gonna wait for my hack here. Or not. Enemy FTL charging. Defense drone one, three hull points repaired. Thanks for that hull repair, dude. That's huge. All right, what am I going to buy now? I guess I can buy three hacking and get that two volley off. Let's go ahead and do this. Was... Uh, very unexpected upgrade. drone and weapons. I'm going to go to level 202. I'm going to open the doors. We're going to defend. Okay, let's go ahead and go here. So I want to start my hack at the last moment possible. Okay, it's firing in at the flak right now. There we go. Go ahead and hit here as well. Oh, right. The defense drone's going to shoot that down. Makes sense. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, it's a little bit off timing on that. No more missiles is good. We got a second breach up here now. Let's go just defend this. This fight's going to be over before this guy is in any trouble. I think I misunderstood that message. 
Uh, not really, but you're a good secret user. Okay, let's go get this repaired, then we'll heal up. Nates are pretty okay. Thanks for 26 months, dude. Thanks a lot. The only thing we can currently buy with the scrap. Okay, we're jumping into them phase three. Phase three is going to have mind control and boarding, so it's going to get weird fast. Uh, we may end up jumping back to the base because of that. Okay, that's a good place to be mind-controlled, or as good as any. It looks like we might come back here. Okay, you went in there, fine. It's gonna defend real quick. Whoa, 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 my man got bippity-bopped. Mind-controlled Mantis is no joke. Okay, now they're fighting in the med bay. That's good. Okay, didn't get that fire out. Let's cloak that. I think I'm just going to jump back to the base here in a moment. God, he's crushing him, dude. Stop it. Stop it. There we go. Um, well, weapons are still online here. Definitely calls for some dapper time. Fun run? I don't think that's a very high scoring run. As nice as the offense was, we were pretty much behind on all systems. GG, man. GG. I think we're in, like, the mid-5,000s at the highest. I'm actually say 5350 is my guess. Fifty three fifty. Fifty two forty two is the official score stats. Forty two ships defeated very low. Sixteen hundred scrap collected also very low.
Nice. All right, let's see what our next ship's going to be. One, two, three. I think off of this list, I'm going to do Federation C. I really enjoy Mantis C, but we just did Mantis C like two or three runs ago. Uh, and I could use a Redemption Arc on this one in particular. Uh, feel free to throw out some name suggestions for this number 50. Is it 56? Actually, let me check this out real quick. 56. Grab some names for our crew here. We got more Tomney. We got Eleneth. Martin P. Ghost Sun. Yeah, Federation C is very funky. No weapons start except for flak artillery and boarding. Mm, some good suggestions here. I can see rockfish. I like that. We'll keep the food theme. Thank you all for your wonderful creative suggestions. All right, and we're off again. So this ship is very funky. No weapons, but boarding and clone bay. Honestly, distress probably isn't bad here. The sector layout, however, is really weird. So I got to make sure we're getting enough jumps here. So we're going to head up this way, over, and then down, across. Okay, nada. Or the asteroid field. Awesome, we got free stuff. Prepare to fight. Okay. Alright, so they do have missile launcher here, which is definitely scary. But I'm still going to board into their weapons because this is how we kill them. Please don't hit a clone bay. Alright, cool. This will also do it. Okay, that came back online. We're going to get him right away. Should punch it down before it fires, which was the goal. Good. Big bada boom. That should do it. That did it. Alright, so in this case, we're going to leave the uh, weapons damaged. We don't have any weapons, so there's really no purpose in repairing them. This means they could go down to a fire or something later if we do. Attack the pirates, what I'm talking about. Okay, mind control's tough. Okay, they mind control my pilot, which is um, fine. I guess we're just going to get in there right away. All right, it's going to board right away here. Uh, I'm going to run him back to piloting to defend. Okay, they have Manus and human. I actually want the Manus on the human here. 
I might not win this fight, which is toughy. Okay, so for this, when this fires, I'm going to drop my shield and then bring it back online. So that this does not hit us. How's this fight going? 4135. I don't know if we're going to win that or not. Looks like we are. Okay. Ooh, we got a map reveal off of that. Right on. All right, everybody down here. Yo, Ape Stomp, thanks for 89 months, and Night God 473, thanks for an awesome nine. Appreciate that. Okay. One, one scrap shy. Wow. Buying two shields. It's just going to hold on a minute because this is awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we'll see what it looks like after this nebula. Actually, do I want to include this nebula in my estimation? No, because then this jump is weird. Intervene and defend the outpost. That's us. We're defending the outpost. Alright, this ship's weapon system is not a threat for a minute. So we're just going to teleport into their... Let's go piloting here. It's the furthest crew from another crew, so we should get at least two extra double hits here. I'm also going to swap the crew now because this crew took double... Or two hits from a double crew, and we want them to die as quickly as possible. Oh, they got Beam 2 drone as well. Holy guacamole. Okay, well, it is a two-on-one here. Um, I should really rock him down to shields, I guess. Miss this little tidbit. Okay, we're good. 20 and 12. Love to see it. Um, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five before the store. One, two, three, four, five store. I think I buy two shields right now and then save. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Should Still going to have lots of scrap for the store. Yo, Rich C, thanks so much for making it official with Prime. Much appreciation. Just thank you all for being here for this all-day Sunday stream. Uh, as part of our new format, we're doing a 12-hour-ish stream on the starting day of each week, which is Sunday currently. I'm glad you all could make it and happy to be here. Kick off another wonderful week with show number 2609 here on Twitch. Awesome. That looks pretty good. Yeah, the advantage here at Dusk of them, since we can't fire weapons, if a fire starts in this room, we do not take a whole damage for this ticking down again. So we're not going to repair weapons until we have a weapon to power. Okay, great time to have two shields. We're just going to be patient here and wait for our flak artillery. Go take a little looky-loo. What's going on? Mantis Engineer, right on.
All right, let's get over there into the piloting to start. Get that double hit on the Mantis. Okay, we got three double hits on the Mantis. Now we want the Mantis on the Mantis to finish off this fight. Yo, it's a crew. Love to see it. Let's get you a new name there, though. It's gonna be uh, Spike Rock. All right, Spike Rock's the new pilot. It's kind of a big deal because the Zoltan that was currently on piloting, or was on piloting, was not providing a power bar. This is not a powered subsystem. Like, there's one more power bar to work with now. Does the ship have emergency respirators? It does. Okay. It's all making sense now. Yo, Sorgrim, thanks for an awesome seven months. So much love today. <laughs> Weapons is only the, the only room I can think of that stays damaged like that, but... Again, once you don't have anything to power inside of a room that's damaged, there's no point in repairing it. It's just a fire risk. I see. This one does not connect over. Does that change anything for me? No? Actually, it kind of does. Because I can't connect to here from the store, so my original plan is not going to work. Um, now what? Okay, so now I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, exit. Okay. So we're going to be missing this jump here, no problem. Actually, it makes more sense to go one, two, three, four, five, six. That's right. The distress has a higher chance of being a scrap reward. Let's check this out. Let's attack the pirate. Not taking no bribe. All right, we should win this. Start with the NG who has much less health, get three double hits, maybe four with the rock, four double hits. And then again, we're going to swap the higher damage crew to the most injured crew, so we get a two-on-one advantage as quickly as possible. Nice. Got him. I mean, not nice their crew being deprived of oxygen, but nice that we got uh, a double reward there. Distress. Yeah, 
Investigate. Want to join my crew, bud? Charlie. Okay, Charlie's all right. Charlie can hang out over here. Part of boarding team number two. All right, now to the store. Or I'm going to sell emergency respirators and probably buy something. Long-range scanners seems like something I'd want. Uh, firebombs, okay. Let's sell anti-drone and emergency respirators. And purchase long-range scanners, at least. This came with a defense drone, I consider it. Mind controls, eh, okay here. I'd say mind control and crew teleporter working against each other a little bit. We only have one slot left, so it's going to be cloaking or hacking. Probably hacking. By two fuel. And now let's buy a third engine as well. That sounds like a good idea. All right, let's go ahead and jump here. If we get over here quick enough, it should be all right. We could lose crew off of this, though we probably will not. It's very unlikely this is a two damage missile. No emergency respirators are probably not getting this down in time either. Okay, that's fine. Please get it down. Not quite, okay. Oh, hey, the O2 is not on. That's fair. Okay. Just a little chip. As long as we board in the second this repairs, we're going to be fine. Right now. Nice double reward. Love it. You're getting cloned as well. Do a quick rename here. Satra. Ion Storm we can definitely deal with. Won't be easy, but we got Zoltans to cover up some problems. Okay, not an automated vessel either. Nice. Alright, so on this ship, I should let them teleport over first, I think. Okay, they only have that online. Good. Okay, and then I'm going to board them in piloting. Where'd they board at? Okay, they're trying to go in the shield room. Great, I'm going to let them in. I had most they should fire the flak one more time.
Very nice sector so far. The only thing we haven't got here is recovered a weapon, but um, we're otherwise pretty stable. And board investigate. Okay, we could have lost a crew there even with Clone Bay, but we didn't. Oh, let's attack the Schlaver Scum. Okay, where's this hack gonna land? Okay, hacking landed on doors. That's fine. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab a smidge here of training. I don't wanna overcharge the shields right now and give this guy engine training. Mm, probably not. See what's going on in uh, their ship. All right, double NG system repair. We can kill this in one board pretty easily. Yeah, we're just going to chill here for a minute. Realistically, this should not take very long to get training, and on this ship especially, the extra dodge is pretty important. We'll get full shield training here. I'm going mostly for dodge. We'll see. We'll see how it plays out. On three engines, sometimes those arrive around the same time. And I'd say so far, we have not done a great job of dodging. So, might end up getting shield training here too. Luckily, their hack did not land on piloting engines or shields, because that would have been a problem. I just realized the one downside to leaving weapons uh, damaged like this is that uh, enemy cannot send a hacking part here. Well, I still think leaving it disabled until you find a weapon is correct. It is less places the hacking part could have landed. I'm going to stand up and just do a little stretch here. Um, be back in just a moment. I'll definitely be back before training concludes. Just going to stretch out my neck and legs real quick. Never hurts. 
Yo, Draka, thanks for 21 months. Enjoy that continued lurk, dude. Thank you. Alrighty, we're back. You guys going nuts during the break here. Trinan, thanks for 33 months. Murasaki Notora, thanks for 36 months and a five gift sub package as well. Thank you so much for three years and that big generosity. Those recipients today, just please enjoy the emotes and community. I'm just grateful to share this time and place once more. Sounds great, Murasaki. Thank you so much again, man. More at 1337. Thanks for 49 months. One more for a half century. Man, oh man. Truly, I am one of the luckiest people on this entire platform. Thank you all for allowing this channel and format for almost 10 years now. My pleasure to be here and no frills to boot is the most amazing part to me after all this time. That we've been able to persist with uh, no pop-ups, alerts, or sponsored gameplay. That's um, that's pretty awesome. Certainly a unique opportunity here on Twitch, so thank you again for that. The engines are done. Just going to drop shield now. Then we'll board. 
Yo, cutest bear. Thanks for that five gift sub package as well. It's a bonanza, man. Uh, it's not necessarily the case, uh, Squirrel Play. It doesn't have anything to do, I think, with the quality of my content. It's simply uh, my opportunity has been different than others. It's not a, not a commentary on my content being better than other people. Just I've had a very unique opportunity uh, starting when I did and having the circumstances surrounding my channel be the way they are to attempt a no-frills format. There are lots of uh, really excellent content producers on this site that do sponsored content, and there's nothing wrong with that. I've just had the opportunity not to, and chose to. Yo, Catatonic Kiwi, thanks for 12 wonderful months. Appreciate that year. Thank you. Okay, uh, we're going to grab NG here, Mr. Ohm. So NG's cool. Um, let's put NG on doors, I guess. Frost size 66. Thanks for that prime sub, dude. Appreciate it. Make it official. Catatonic Kiwi with the year of Lurkin as well. Lurker's number one. Okay, well, we're leaving sector one with two shields and 123 scrap. So we ended up buying two shields and three engines. So that is 65 scrap spent. Let's add that on the total. Almost a 200 scrap sector one. That's nice. Well, so with long range scanners, um, we often go nebula, but I think civilian sector is actually better here because there's going to be a lot of automated ships which we're not currently prepared for, or civilian sector ships we're definitely prepared for. Oh, wait, did we buy long-range scanners this one, too? We did. So it was over a 200 scrap sector one. That's awesome. Yo, Armathus, thanks for 18 months. Excellent broccoli, dude. Excellent broccoli. I mean, four engine power bar is not bad, but the next store we see, we're probably going to want to spend a lot of scrap. So let's just hold off it. Two shields, three engines here, which is an adequate setup. We'll never surrender our crew, except that one time and that other time. Let's not forget. Okay, if I board engines here, oh, we did go off there. What? Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay. This might be a story done in two parts here. Hey, I need a med kit. Welcome to the Dapper. Thanks for making it official with Prime as well. Too kind, too kind. Okay, we're going to swap these crew real quick. It's possible we can get the kill here. Not if Ghost Sun gets a little scratch, though, or stubs his toe. We can't do it in one set. Oh, we got there. All right, everybody died in the fight. That's fair. You can technically win the game with only boarding. That would be very difficult. I've done it before. All right, there's a store. Do I hit this now at 142? Probably 142 should be enough to buy anything we want. Enough to buy hacking and some sort of weapon. Maybe, just maybe, I should go back here and take these two jumps before the store. 
seeming like pretty likely the right choice. Okay, none of these connect to the exit. Yeah, I'm going to do this here. Because if we can get burst laser 2 and hacking or some combination of those things. At 142 scrap, you think the store is great, but if it's a really banger store, we're not going to be able to buy everything we want. And right now, we're capable. No. For sure. Yo, Reaver, thanks for 25. Appreciate that. Quarter Century and Thatterton, thanks for 46, man. Alright, if we disable either weapon here, we're safe. Maybe running my engine guy into the clone bay here in a moment. Okay, if that's the one that goes down, we can just do this. Oh, I take it back. Uh, okay, he's going in here. Really hoping that goes down in time, it did. Okay, let's just board over with this second set and fully disable weapons, and then I will uh, power up the uh, artillery. Yo, Neg. Thanks for keeping it dapper. Appreciate those two months. Thanks so much for that prime continuation. Alright, well, simply put here, the uh, flak artillery is going to get the job done. Oh, you done did it. Angel's Advocate, thanks for eight months, and thank you all for that generosity during that hype train. Hope you all enjoy your emote unlocks. All right, Ohm needs a new name here. That name is... Das Beverage. Attack the pirates. Alright, so on this one, I'm going to wait for them to board, then I'm going to board them. The ship can hit us, though it's unlikely. Okay, where'd they board at? This room. Heavy laser mark two. Okay, this is a big boy weapon. It doesn't work right now, but it is definitely part of a complete system. Is this also nebula? No, it's sun. Okay, we're gonna go here and then over. Okay, charge two is not bad either. It's cloaking, backup battery, drone control with a defense drone. I say the same thing I uh, say every time this conversation comes up. Um, often people talk about wanting FTL two. 
um, which the devs have said are not going to happen. I think what everybody is really hankering for is a game in a similar style that evolves this format further than it is, but the fact remains this game has been out for uh, almost a decade now and is still the gold standard of its game type. So it's really not the job of FTL at all to reinvent itself to meet people's expectations. While fun ideas and all, uh, I think the idea that FTL2 should come along and improve itself when it's already the gold standard is, um, well, a bit dreamy, huh? Um, I think backup battery here looks really good because a higher chance for hacking later. I'm honestly debating drone control and also debating charge two. To put this another way, if you'd like to carry on a conversation about all the ways you think this game can be improved or a game in a similar style could be, quote, better, I'd appreciate if you take that conversation to the Discord because right now I'm trying to enjoy my run of FTL1. Thank you. All right, does this have a undervalued weapon system? It does. It does. Oh, boy. Okay, well, this is going to get repaired now. I'm kind of thinking that it might be a mistake not to buy Charge 2. But in order to get Charge 2 and Heavy Laser 2 online, that is like an immense, and I mean immense, amount of scrap. This is tough. I think I need to buy Charge 2 here. I really don't want to, but I think that's what I should do. Pike Beam's interesting as well. It's a little cheaper to get online. Alright, it's got to be backup battery here. Buy one repair. Let's buy four fuel. Let's buy charge two. Yeah. Okay, can't even quite get weapons on yet, but this gives us somewhere to go at least. All right. Upgrade weapons soon. Okay, mind control's fine. Uh, we're just gonna board over here. Don't even need to take down weapons. We'll just take down mind control and load up our artillery beam.
I mean, maybe, maybe. Okay, so I can go one, two, three, and still make it up here. If I take three jumps, I can get a double dive in the sector, which seems, I don't know, good. Two scrap away from having charge or heavy online as well. Can also get just one nebula here. No, it doesn't make sense. It's got to be one, two, three, four, and then back through this way. It's gotta be it's gotta be the way forward. Definitely willing to dive here to extend our advantage even further. Are they coming back in? Interesting, they were. Good. Oh, okay. Uh, let's change things a little bit. Or does it? Hmm. I'm going to think about that for a second and then relook at it after I've cloned here. Okay. I think there might be an intermediary option here. Where I go one, one and a half, two, three. I mean, I can get all four of these jumps, but we're going to miss out on a jump back here for diving reasons. So I'd be basically trading this jump for, or one of these jumps for a jump back here. I guess it makes sense because... We're going to be diving either way, and we get a ship fight this way, too. So I'm going to go one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three and a half, and then back through here. Yeah, okay. Lots of scrap incoming. Since we have lots of scrap incoming and we already saw our store, let's just go ahead and buy this weapon power now, and then I'll repair the weapon system, too. Okay, to have charge two and heavy two on at the same time, it is right now <laughs> a lot. 160 scrap plus power. That's not that much. Okay, nice. This is a remote settlement. 
What a perfect time to have weapons. Truly. Okay, let's kill this guy off and then we'll board. Okay, a ship can't hit us. That's nice. Settlement. Okay, it was a pretty weak double reward, but it was still a double reward. Yo, Ravenar King, glad you make it back safely, dude. Thanks for 100 and month, one month of support. We already got you that VIP badge before you left, but great to see you again. All right, let's go ahead and go here. Let's attack the ship. Okay, they got Clone Bay, uh, and they have this, so I definitely want to try to take out their weapon system. How do? I think Heavy Laser is probably the best go right now. Ooh, double Mantis? Why, dude? Okay, let's get uh, Mantis on Mantis here. Alright, so I'm going to swap rooms here, so I switch which crew's fighting, and then we're going to do this. And pulling the guy out of piloting is what I'm trying to do. Did work, but... So, now I'm to the point where firing at Clone Bay makes more sense. Please hit. Thank you. Ion bomb. Interesting. Dang, Raven King. Thanks for that incredibly generous 10 gift sub package, man. Thank you again. All right. You know what sounds really excellent right now? Just a power bar. We're juggling power like crazy. Let's just uh, make it a little cooler, huh? I think Martin needs a heal here. Okay, we're going into Ion Storm again. What's our power at right now? We're at 8 power. Uh, I still don't have anywhere to put the power right now, though it'd make a lot more sense to have 5 power in the Nebula than 4. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this anyways, just so when we go into the Ion Storm, we have five power. That's, um, could have two shields and teleporting that way, rather than just two shields. Okay, they have... Yikes. How am I gonna do this? Okay, I only need one shield to start.
heavy laser looks better here. Okay. Next, we're going to teleport into engines. I'm going to set these crew up as secondary borders. I'm going to really hope that the... Med bay goes down here. Shield, that's fine. Ish. Okay, guy's coming out of piloting now, so this should open up the hit. Nobody on piloting. Good. Okay, we're going to shield room now. Get him in here. I think the guy in there is dead. Pretty sure. Yes. Okay, that's the last missile. Whew. A little scary. Okay, we have a breach somewhere on the ship. I didn't see where it landed. There it is. No, honestly, not that inconvenient of a breach. Alright. Yo, Snowman30, thanks for two years, 24 months. Thank you. Yeah, a couple of notes on the artillery flak here. Well, at first, it takes 50 seconds to charge artillery flak, and two, we have no control over where it shoots. Same with the artillery beam. Long charge time, no control over where it hits. Small bomb's actually hyper effective right here. Awesome. Awesome. What an amazing find that is. All right, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, here, exit. It's going to follow the scrap that's in front of me. This has been a very good scrap sector, too. You, you kind of expect that when you get long-range scanners in sector one, but uh, even then, it's been it's been nice. Uh, no, enemies will only mind control your crew. They will not uh, use mind control to counter mind control. Well, if either of these are a store, it may very well be better to go one, two, three, four here and have the option. I think I am going to skip one ship fight here to have a double chance of getting a store. Well, it's only at one extra chance, isn't it? Mm. Trading a ship fight for an unseen jump. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay, just deal with the mind control and don't board because of this. Um, charge laser or not. Let's actually use small bomb here to make this safer. What up, flak artillery? Cool. That's better. It's fine. 
fine. Nice. That was a really uh, nice hit there. Uh, generally speaking, slow mirror, you don't use Zoltans as boarding party because in addition to them having less health on them, you're also giving up power on your ship to board the enemy ship. So usually when you end up with a Zoltan boarding party, it's a matter of desperation, not a matter of strategy. Gonna reject your offer. Okay, crew teleporter. Fine. The ship can't damage us. like fire started there yeah all right let's go ahead and board into shield then he's probably gonna get the fires down eventually just do this Boop. Uh, no surrender we are gonna need to swap these crew I think or not crushing it Brushing it. Alright, he's fine without a clone this time around. Here we go. Hell yeah, Outpost. Love to see it. Okay, they do have med bay. I'm actually going to do this right here. Small bomb, ion bomb. Bit of an awkward play, but I believe correct. Letting them board first. Then I'm boarding them. Uh, let's defend here. Okay, med bay's down. Good. Let's swap. No, not swap. We're good. Okay, I'm gonna ion bomb now, because I don't want to eat another missile. Um, definitely will happen. 20 and 18. That sounds great, but we're now getting very low hull before our dive. Yeah, Shana found a die just means you're going to enter the red zone by the end of the sector.
I will give you... I want to go... I'm going to go 15 here. Okay, automated reloader wasn't what I wanted, but it's definitely good. Let's go ahead and get uh, one weapon power here, I think. I need to just go four engines, actually. We'll see what's up with this. All right. Double Mantis. So double Mantis is tough. Probably save one of our five bombs here. Yes, Reloader does work on artillery weapons. Absolutely. Good. Interesting. He changed position there. I need to spend some scrap here. You have three automated reloaders and a fully leveled artillery beamer flak. You can fire it every 12 seconds. Good luck getting that going, though. Okay, there's that. Let's go for one weapon power here. Probably like this is what we're doing. Yeah, I'll save 50 for the next store. Anybody else? No, that's good. Right, this could be a little sketchy. Burst laser to flak. All right. No boarding. I'm not going to board them either. I'm just trying to get out of here. Our best chance of that is to disable one of their weapons. Please hit. Awesome. Feels good. Could actually disable both of these all hit, which is really, really unlikely. Yay, the ASB missed as well. Great. Great. Get me out of here. Well, both of these are um, difficult. We can't board Abandoned Sector very well, and Zoltan Control has Zoltan Shield, so I still think I'm going to take Zoltan Control in this situation. I at least have the ability to remove Zoltan Shields. It's not out of the question. actually do so rather quickly at the cost of missile resource. Intruders on board. Okay, this ship can't damage us. Awesome. Alright, let's roll over here. Double Manus is not a joke. Okay, this guy's gonna be trying to get to the weapons room. Got a good thing going on here. Okay, if they just boarded like that, if I board into shields, we should be able to shoot down the clone bay in time. We'll see about this. Okay, not weapons. Okay, miss is good. Okay, I'm going board into shields now. It's going to pull the guy off piloting like we wanted. Good. I'm actually going to abandon piloting right now to board with this guy, which is uh, awkward, but correct. Maybe I don't need to? I don't know why they haven't boarded back to their own ship yet. Okay, O2 is currently down. Let's just repair that now. All right, lots of clones incoming. So that's not too bad. I can leave those guys.
Bozor. Thanks for 23 months. Yes and no, John Johnson. You're correct uh, that they use their first teleport to teleport in, not back, though they do still teleport back at the same rate. Head's definitely in the right place, though. Okay, that is a spicy boy. So we're going to begin by boarding into, let's say, engines here. This is definitely going to be a small bomb situation. Oh, I did that wrong. I meant to target weapons there. Oh, well. Double fire in weapons. Awesome. Let's just do a secondary boarding set here. Or not. Uh, ship's name this time is the Rockfish. One twenty five to bring on heavy laser right now. Probably three shields before that's just smarter. Jesus, man. Okay, we're gonna let them board here. We are getting some major pepperage going on. Big time. Pepperage. Good. That's what I wanted. Alright, another crew here is awesome. I could see that because the, the ship is very awkward for repairs with the length of the ship. It's a tough one. Especially when you're in a low crew situation. Alright, Ares needs a new name here off the list. That is going to be Amphid. Classic Humanitis, Amphid SF, the original, and still the best. Does this connect back up? It does. I think I'm going to go one, two, three now. Distress doesn't seem bad since we have uh, NG, but... go. Okay, Ghost Sun's gone and irreversible there, so we lost our Manus Border, but we have this replacement right here. Manus Border is definitely preferred, but since we have seven crew, it definitely offsets that loss. Secure the fuel. Nice. 
All right, this is definitely a small bomb ship. Let's go ahead and... Oh, they only have this online. Okay. In that case, let's do this. Okay, Mantis and what? Double Mantis. Okay, okay. So I'm going to give them a little run around here. So as a general rule inside of Ion Storms, if you can create a safe situation for yourself, you don't want to mess with it. Keep it safe, keep it cool. Alright, when they run to the med bay now, which they're going to momentarily, we're going to do this. Okay, it's a little early on that. Whew. Nice shot. Yo, runs bad. Thanks for 23 months. One more for two years. Okay, we can get weapon online right now, but I'd really like to see a store because hacking would be better than a weapon upgrade right now. All right, this ship can't damage us or has a very hard time doing so. Rock Investigator probably just has rocks on it. Let's board here to start. Probably boarding with a secondary crew as well. In fact, if I just roll the Zoltan down to shields, there's no way this ship can ever damage us. Fact. Got him. Okay. I miss anything by going over here. Three, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I see. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, exit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exit. Okay. This jumps next, then. Boy, it's really tempting just to bring weapons online. I'm going to resist temptation here for a moment. We got a lot of scrap, and we know what we want to spend it on. Okay, double ion laser is a little tricksy. I should go for charge here. All right, it's going to be a double boarding set. So we're going to start by boarding shields, and we're going to go over here. Okay, they hack my weapons. That's not great, but it could be worse. Go 
go down here. Good. Oh, that's a start. Good. Um, all right, these guys got a switch right here. Very good. Oh, the man is die. That's too bad. Let's send him in the corner then. Nice. Good shot, dude. Good shot. Bruce fine. Yo, what's up, oh Reagan? How you doing, man? Pretty cool. Yo, runs bad. Thanks for 23 months. If I did miss you earlier, I think I just doubled down. Oh, well. Just as this. Thanks for 35 months and level 47. Thanks for 41 months and that very generous tier 2 sub. Much appreciation. Okay, even more fights. Huh. I mean, I can buy three shield right now and still be in range to purchase uh, hacking. Just getting weapons online, too, makes us a very powerful offensive vessel. We are not right now. Where are these stores at? Alright, I'm going to go here and see if one of these is a store before I spend. I probably should spend right now, but I gotta know. Alright, cool. It's a ship that can't hit us. Well, don't, don't try using offensive drones versus these guys, okay? Just don't do it. Looks good. Nice, easy ship. Guess I'll auto fire this out. What kind of ship you dream about? Hey, look at that. There's a freaking store right there. I'm going to hit the store right now and then make a decision on what's next. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Uh, does not leave us with a dive, but it's all fights. Oh, 
All right, what do we got going on? Page two, there's hacking. That's the one we wanted. Okay, let's get hacking here. Yep. Um, I feel like ion bombs probably odd man out here. Very unlikely we're going to use that. Let's repair to 23 like we usually do. And we still have enough to purchase three shields here if we want. It's only sector three, however. And if we get hacking online with charge to heavy laser, pretty good. Well, for being Federation C, we've solved all the main problems in this ship so far. We found weapons, which is the main concern. Um, we got additional crew demand systems, which is also a concern. Uh, and we found hacking, which I think is, on this particular ship, not a must, but a very strong consideration. You very rarely will buy cloaking over hacking on this ship. Just because you already have one uh, system less to purchase you can only get either or you start with you only get one system total because you start with teleporting and um, artillery all right now it's 125 to bring it online we have the power to bring it online though when we do that just barely just barely I think the cleanest possible purchase right now is just to buy, uh, bring the heavy laser on. Because then I have six projectiles with hacking for eight damage. If artillery does get upgraded, it's going to be at the very end of this run. Okay, let's attack the skim. Okay, it's two crew, no med bay, no clone bay, so we're just going to get boarding right away. I also don't need to hack here, but wouldn't hurt to take one of those down. I'm going to go ahead and do a safety hack. Actually, if it just fired this once, there's no need for hacking here. Yeah, they're off-timed. We're good. All right. What's up, Marcus? Um, who are we replacing here? Probably whoever has the weapon training right now. Satra? You're the new Satra. Nice. What kind of hazard are we going into next? Asteroid field, okay. Man, I gotta tell you, going into asteroid field, three shields, a little temptation. Yo, Dying Black, thanks for 44 months. Thank you all for that monumental show of support today. Too kind. All right, I'm actually unsure what I want to spend my scrap on, and my uh, lunch has been ready for a hot minute now, so I'm going to take my normal break. We do around the same time every broadcast. Been live for almost four hours here. I'm uh, just going to stand up, stretch my legs real quick, use the restroom, grab some water, and grab a very quick snack. My breakfast, in fact. Be back in just a few short minutes to continue the fun. Let me fix this cam. We'll maybe get some kitties on the uh, screen as well. Looks like it got bumped. Be right back.
Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks for your patience during that brief intermission. Let's hop back into our run here. Sector 4, we're still in Sector 3. Amazing. So we're in Sector 3 with the choice to either buy weapons or 3 shielding. Are we diving here? We are not diving here. One moment. All right. Getting a sip of water here. A little bit too fast. All right, so we are rocking, like, bare minimum right now on power, but we officially have a setup which can hurt ships really badly. All right, wow, this is a very scary ship, dude. It's only double Zoltan, so if we get their shield down and board, it's mostly okay. Okay, I'm actually going to um, hack weapons here. And then board piloting. Okay, they still managed to fire there. Oh, well. Okay, that missed. That's good. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm going to hack here before that goes off again. Good. Okay, that was pretty much a nightmare ship for our current situation, so if we survive that, we're probably feeling pretty good. Also got some nice dodges there. Definitely a possibility, Tharson, though not currently planning out each moment of every broadcast. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's defend that. Um, the weapons can't hit us, though. They probably won't, right? Okay, let's board over into engines here. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Good. Okay, they decided to defend because there's fires. Should be fine. Thank you. 
right. Hey, this civilian ship. Being attacked by pirates, are ya? Should be able to disable their weapons here, I think. Yeah, no, no laser for you. Hey, nice double reward from the civvies. Love it. Wow, could I actually take that for a dive jump. Um, am I willing to dive for one extra ship fight? I'm almost gonna say yes right now. Probably shouldn't though. Yo, Bong hits McGee. Thanks for keeping it dapper. Appreciate that Prime subscription. Thank you, dude. All right, let's um, let's evaluate this. So I can go into the dive with basically just small bomb active and probably be okay. An interesting play here would be to go to six engines right now and then have a um, guaranteed easy dive, like we get out before the ASB. The problem with this six engine play is that we're extending far past our power parameters because we can't have our weapons and six engines online. We can have either or. And then we're also looking to purchase three shields. It does, however, give us a direct route forward. We buy six engines now, which covers our dive, or mostly covers our dive. Um, we then go into three shields in the next sector, and then we buy level two backup battery. And at that point, we have weapons, engines, and shields online. I guess since it's sector three, um, let's go for this kind of crazy play. I don't know. Let's see what this fight has first. I may just buy three shields and take my lick at the um, at the dive. Okay. How about we hack weapons here? Okay, boarding drone in our engines. Fair enough. Gonna open the doors here. Gonna walk back to defend that. Okay, he's almost dead. He's not. Alright, I gotta close off the doors now and have him leave the room. I don't need to dodge anymore. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna need a secondary board here, however. I guess I'm gonna do that over here. This fight just got a little weird. Alright, so we're gonna send uh, these crew out of the room, these crew out of the room, these crew in, these crew in. Okay, and we got him before we repaired. Awesome. 
we are officially A-OK -okay number one. And 18 scrap. OK. Everybody gets cloned. The re recloning begins. Just gonna pose it to chat here. Would you guys buy six engines or three shields here? I think three shields is a bit safer, and the six engines is kind of cool. I don't know what to do. Alright, everybody's back to full health. Nice. I think shields is probably right, too. Thanks for talking me out of engines chat. Let's do this and this. Okay, everybody's cloned. Awesome. Alright. Here we go. Four engines for a dive isn't bad. Wouldn't call it safe, but I, I think our odds of losing the run on this dive are pretty low. Oh, yeah. I can actually use a hacking part here to make this totally safe. I'm going to do exactly that. So if I disable one of the weapons here, we're good. I might as well do this as well. So if the ASB hits our shielding, that would be a problem. Okay, hit our doors. That is not a big deal at all. That is an accepted part of doing a dive. You're probably going to take three damage from the ASB. Civilian sector it is. I can't board abandoned ships. While we do have the capability to kill things now with our weapons, um, I would still like to get boarding rewards. That'd be nice. All right. Probably going to skip the nearby sun. Could go one, two, three and still make this, though. Hmm. Yeah, well, well stated, Doomerick. Doomerick says that six inches has some good pull for this exactly that jump, but three shields is better for the next sector. So, well said. Neto Chad, thanks for 96 months, man. Thanks a lot. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna do this line right here. I wanna see I wanna see as many jumps as possible in this sector, and this jumps it. That's the one. It's an interesting way to look at it, ZS3000. I wouldn't say it's true in all cases, but it's a nice idea. Okay, well, a certified fact here is small bomb disables this weapon if we fire it out there. There's no med bay, no clone bay going on on this pirate fighter either. So, in the off chance this gives us enough time, I'm going to do this. I'm going to hack the piloting here. I'm going to load up like this, not having to use backup battery. I'm going to board in shields, okay. Nice dodges. Okay, no more, no more biggie boy. Let's 
using the doors to our advantage here. I'm gonna board in after this guy explodes. So the reason I uh, left and then re-entered the room here is to make sure that the two crew that were defending were on um, these two bubbles. In fact, let's do this real quick. There we go. Very nice. Very good. Four fuel, 41 scrap, like that. All right, uh, let's clone these three. Wow. Double asteroid field nearby sun. I think I'd take the double asteroid field here for sure. And I don't see another power bar being like a bad choice right now. Level 2 backup battery going to be looking pretty keen soon as well. Yeah, let's brave the asteroid field. Let's do it. Okay, at least there's no cloaking here. This is definitely a hack situation, though. There we go. Okay, they're boarding with the mantis. Cool. Okay, he's going in there. He's going to defend here and here. We're going to roll these guys over to board. Please don't hit my weapons. Good. Just gonna wait just a second to fire here. Just a second. Or not. Okay, good. That's what I needed right there. I have to go down. Okay, that's fully down. Good. I'm gonna walk over to shields now to pull them out. I'd say it's a possibility, McQueen. Viable, maybe not so much. Artillery beam, artillery flak are almost always late game flexes rather than an actual um, main system. Asteroid field again. Here we go. Okay. Combat drone burst laser two. Uh, my gut tells me go weapon hack here. I'm going to trust my gut. Mm-hmm. 
gonna avoid this nearby sun. I mean, it's cool, but we're gonna not see jumps for taking it. Also, sun beacons are almost guaranteed uh, damage. Oh, cool is, well, let, let me know if it does come back online. I'd love to see it. All right, um, I'm going to begin by hacking engines here. I'm going to wait to board until I fire out. Okay, we got a breach in there too. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to board into the engine room. They're not directly defending. Yo, nice. Your quick reactions allow you to stabilize a few of the seriously wounded crew members and infantrymen offer to join your crew and the rest tell you of a hidden Federation base. Alright, well, you're now owner of a new ship. Trico, congrats. Thanks for the info. Yo, Lassius, thanks for 88 months. 12 more for that 100 club. Cruising. Now the sun beacon's a lot more tempting than I know there's a store here. One, two, three, four, and then head over this way? Okay. This quest, though, is also very um, desirable. Uh, like we just were on the previous jump, you or this jump, you can choose to replace a crew with the new crew, but you can still have a maximum of eight. Weapon power is pretty good here. I think you'll make it, Lassius. I think you'll make it. Okay, I want to hit this quest. That's for sure. So let's maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks pretty good. Exactly eight. So one, two, three, four, five here, six, seven, eight. Looks awesome. Let's just do it now. Could also take this distress before the store, but what's really going to be at the store that I have to buy here? We've already filled out on subsystems. We're looking at repair and maybe another weapon. 
but probably not. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, exit. Okay, I am going to take the Distress now. We still make the jump, gives a little more scrap to work with, and we have Inji and Rock to cover it. Um, Teleport, take a nearby planet, thanks for the 40 scrap, dude, hell yeah. Exactly as we suspected. It's just going to be a repair store here. All right, having seen that and having 138 scrap, what do I want to buy next? I want to buy level 2 backup battery. That solves some problems. Let's go ahead and get two hacking as well. Um, and one power bar. Okay. Cool. Probably going for a weapon power next for 90. Just getting the small bomb in is not actually that small of an improvement. What is this? Heavy laser mini beam? Triple rock as well. Wow. Well, lucky for us, the ship's pretty easy to kill. So weirdin'. Could be an okay spot for small bombs. I'm also considering that their med bay will be repaired by the system repair drone. Let's try this first. Ouch, dude, he's getting crushed right now. Pretty lucky. Okay, he's going to repair the med bay, but even with his uh, increased speed, he's not going to finish this before we kill these guys off. Awesome. What's up, civvies? They left while the enemy was distracted. Can't blame them there. Welcome to the clone zone. Dude, Sir Ramak, if I did miss you, thanks for 68 months. As always, we're late to or miss your notification. I do sincerely apologize. Got a terrible case of humanitis and as part of our no frills format, did not have alerts playing in my ears. So please forgive my tardiness. Okay, Ford Scout's going to be trying to run from us for sure. They're going to board his two, and then I'm going to counter board his two. It's going to pull their pilot off. Uh, how much do I care about their weapons here? Well, if I hack, not at all. Oh, it's still fired? Okay. I agree. That happened. Ok, 
Okay, those guys are dead. My guys are dead too. There's no there's no more um, action, so we'll just sack that. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, one, two. And the most important part about that event, there was no double fleet pursuit. I think I'm gonna rock small bomb online. Like it's the safest play right now. Yep. Expensive, but good. Go ahead and pressurize the cabin here. That should be fine. Where's this hack gonna land? Okay. Anything but the sensors, sir. I'm going to go down to the shield room now, just to have less on piloting. We're good. Swap these crew. Uh, it's... We might win this fight, we might not. We did. So... Mantis crew have a 1.5 times damage multiplier, and NGs have a 0.5. So between their two crew, they had a 2 crew evaluation between our two humans we also had two the difference there was that we can swap our crew and we started with a two-on-one fight for two hits oh okay well, stores aren't bad. Yeah, those are all fine, but very unnecessary. Gonna buy a quickie repair. Alright, planet side anti ship battery. Is this the one where having level two sensors sometimes gives the reward? I don't think so. Yo, Zaslab, thanks for 27 months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. What's up, Mikazoo? No, this is not the one. This is different. Double missile launcher. Why, though? All right, on this one, I'm just going to go for a uh, level two weapons hack to hopefully disable these before they can fire at me. Let's try this to start. That worked good. You know, I'm just going to wait for my full charge here. Okay, ASB missed. Double breach, there it is. There it is. 
Actually, can we, like, get a kill here? Maybe. Maybe. Depends on what happens with these doors, but crew kill is definitely possible. He's gonna try to get out, but he can't in time. How much health here? Let's just do this. Got him. All right, Kara. Well, uh, you're the owner of an elite fighter. Congratulations. Was hoping for a... Um, <laughs> that's tough. Uh, hoping for a hull repair on that one. Didn't quite happen. Okay. Yo, Fuster Lee, thanks for 14 months. Hell yeah, non-stop subs and resubs today. Thank you. Poor Kara, we hardly knew ye. Just try and do the right thing here, okay? Ion Blast, okay. I mean, that's a weapon. Well, it's definitely Uncharted Nebula time. Okay, store. Let's just go here and then go to the store. That'll let us know where we're at. There won't be a next time. Open fire. Okay, I do want a crew kill here, but my first priority is making sure this does not hit us. This will be quite easy to pull off by hacking piloting. Okay, they boarded into weapons, which is a little terrifying. Um, let's drop our hack real quick. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to send these crew in as tanks. I'm going to put him here and him down here. No, don't chunky down that Zoltan that fast. It's rude. All right, here we go. Um, so we're going to start our hack. We're going to fire out the small bomb here, which will do the trick. Okay, that's down now. Um, let's go ahead and... Okay, they went back. They're going to try to repair their med bay, I think. Can't allow that. It's just a burning NG in here. That's not too bad. Did they die on the way back? Seems like they might have. Pretty close. Okay, let's put the low health crew over here. Looks to me like I might not get the kill on this. Let me close. Get him? No. Ho oh, ho! He did. Good job, dude. One health? <laughs> yeah, Amphib with one health. Way to make that stand, bud. Alright, alright. Uh, nothing of real note here. I'm going to keep the Ion Blast because it could still be useful for Phase 3 of the flagship fight. Just very interested in just upgrading my ship right now. Uh, Stin, you're not incorrect that buying piloting often happens in nebulas, but we're going to be doing that um, a little differently here. One moment.
So the moment you usually buy um, level two piloting is when you see an empty ion jump. So this style beacon, but with no ship on it. And then uh, that will have the manually search the wreckage event. Just dropping a couple of frames here. It's going to chill for a minute and see if it, uh, well, wait for it to pass. It'll be done in a minute. Thanks for your patience. Okay. Um... I don't know what I want to buy next. Probably just five engines is a good call. Level two teleporter here could also be really good. We could do both five engines and two teleporter. Two teleporter is nice so we can get the second set of boarding crew in faster. And we're reaching the point in the game where almost all ships have four or more crew, so it's very hard to get away without doing that. Basically, the way to look at it to test it, Hunter, is that the artillery beam and artillery flak are basically just more expensive than normal weapons, so you almost always use them out of desperation, not out of um, convenience. Yo, Foz, thanks for 44 months. Four more for four years. Thanks, dude. Yep, can be an extra weapon. It's not all bad. They're not necessarily bad. They're just more expensive than other options early. So you usually load in the artillery beam or artillery flak um, much later into the run, right? All right, still just waiting a minute here. Thanks for your patience during this brief one. All right, let's go ahead and jump here. Um, I'm going to buy... Engines, power bar, level 2 teleporter. Yo, Domaku, thanks for 100 months. Gonna give you your VIP badge right now. Congratulations, you made it. Lurkers number one, as you just said. Thanks a lot, partner. What do they have online? They kept all their weapons online. That's tough. I think a weapon hack here will be adequate. So I'm going to start with a weapon hack. Well, it is tempting to board already. I don't think I should. I think maybe even on this ship, I should probably just kill them normally. I 
I don't know what kind of drones they currently have, but it's probably like a anti-personnel drone. Okay, defense drone then. Maybe I will board. Okay, and a personnel did not leave there. Maybe it did right now. Okay, no shield required. Let's get this online. Good. Um, as soon as this door closes, I'm going to leave the room. <laughs> well, isn't this tricky? Go here. There's fires in there, man. Wow. My dude got wrecked. Um, well, that's enough for me. Let's go. There is a way to fix this still, but... Okay, that worked. Yo, Italian radio. Thanks for 80 months. Hope you're having a great one too, Italian. It's been good. All right, right now is not a very good time to assess where our ship's at. Let's just go up here and then head over and down. I mean, now is not a good time to spin because we're in the ion storm, so it's very hard to tell exactly where we're at. Looking good. Long range scanner. Okay, we got in firing range. No med bay, no clone bay. Love it. The ship also has a very hard time damaging us, so we can just board in. It's going to be quite the shuffle if we live through this. Doesn't look like we will. Oh man, this ship could do me a disservice if I'm not careful. I goofed. Yeah, crew's fine. Unless this hits, then they're not. Man, that's tough.
goodness. Lucky our clone bay did not get hit there. Yo, pie is good for you. Thanks for 76 months, dude. Look at the impromptu lurker roll call going on in chat. That's a lot of lurkers. Okay, I'll head up there. Thinking four shields is a pretty reasonable purchase here soon. Let's attack the ship here. Alright, here's a good time for the Ion Blast. These two weapons time out very well together. Gonna hope for a dodge here, that's what I'm saying. Good enough. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and board now. It's only gonna be a two cruise ship, or it should be only a two cruise ship. Yes, our clone bay is down, but it'll be fixed by the time this is a problem. Zoltan and human, alright. I'm gonna go into the shield room then, um, which will make hitting this easier. There we go. Layla, the fight and repair and rock. Okay. So I'm going to replace one of these humans with that. It's going to be uh, more Tomney. So now what we're going to do is we're going to lead with a rock boarding party. The extra HP will allow us to get in with the other set of crew on that second board um, in a good amount of time. Yeah, enjoy that Lurk Pie and Manly Muffin. Thanks for making it official with Prime. Thanks a lot. Literal bonanza. John Galenio, welcome to the Dapper as well. Thanks for that prime sub, dude. Uh, I will take two fuel 41 scrap. Easy. Easy bribe. All right, here we go. I'm going to buy um, nothing right now. I was going to say four shields, but it's only sector five. We don't need four shields right now. Oh boy, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna hack weapons here. I'm going to wait for them to board. Okay, they boarded. Now I'm going to board them. In the shield room, this should pull the pilot out. Yep, this is a four crew ship.
Gonna begin my hack. Let's try this to start. Okay, clone bay's down, good. Excellent. That went well. Okay, I'm going to buy three hack power bar. I'm going to buy another power bar. Okay. That's good. Mantis Aggressor. Where are they at? They're going into doors right now. Okay. Alright, so we're going to go in here, and then I'm going to uh, vent this room. Cutting the O2. Their next closest room with O2 is here. We have a 2 on 4. Mantis Aggressor probably has like four Mantis and one Engineer, if I had to guess. So what I'm going to do here is this. I've got a Breach going on, nice. You know, I'm just going to board in with these crew. See what's up. Okay, well, he's dead. It was less crew than I thought in here. Heavy Ion is a very sellable weapon. A little tricky to count here because the nebula jumps are 80% fleet pursuit here. One, two, three, four, five is four point four. Should be fine to make this jump still. Been a tricky little run.
All right, I am gonna hack piloting here because in the off chance the ship gets going, it could really escalate fast. Like a shield hit plus an ion bomb could leave us shieldless. If I just do this, no problem. Free stuff, cool, cool. Hell yeah, it's a great deal. I mean, I am using bonds, but uh, hacking parts are of a way higher value to me right now. Uh, no. No, I wish. I wish. It's like we're definitely going to do this six-engine play here. Okay, this one I'm willing to not use a part on. Honestly, even boarding here is pretty solid. A little late for that, though. If I boarded the second this fight started, it would be the best. Okay, that's good. No more dodging for you, sir. Okay, six engine get. Wow, six engine, and I have enough to get uh, four shields still. Amazing. No thanks. All right, this will be fine. We're just gonna hack weapons, level three hack, let our six engines do its thing. Oh, I don't even need to hack weapons here. Still going to though. Just trying to get away, that's all. And we're off. NG Homeworld Pirate Control. I guess we take NG Homeworld here. We still got time to finish the quest. Could be a full heal and... It's a lot of scrap. Also have the prerequisite engineer, which is a big deal for homeworlds. Also going to be three stores in this sector, which is not a small advantage. Yo, Oxenimus, thanks for eight months. Appreciate that continuation. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Heavy ions out. Double small bomb for the flagship fight is actually like really cool. Might buy that. Excuse me, just one moment. Just gonna use the restroom real fast before we continue.
All right. Uh, you know, Fire Beam does not have like a bad evaluation here. It's not a whole damaging weapon, but it is a repair delaying weapon as far as the flagship's concerned. Hey, cheers, Fussley. Thanks for stopping by on lunch, dude. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Appreciate you stopping by. Well, it's only Sector 6. Boarding is getting a little bit annoying at this point, so I think that Fire Beam works here. I'm going to sell Ion Blast and buy Fire Beam. I don't... If I was just trying to win the run, if that was my only goal, I would not do this, but... I think it's good enough in this current setup with 3 hacking to, to work. We still have the option to board, but on those ships that have five, six crew, uh, we can hack shields, slam the weapons, and cause massive fires to delay repairs. So that uh, sounds all right. Yo, show not found. Thanks for that very generous double gift sub package. Much appreciation. Look what I got. I got a baby kitty. Nope. Can I Almost see her there. Get those toe beans under control, ma'am. All right, perfect example here. It's going to be a very high uh, cruise ship. Get that counterboarding double NG borders. What are you guys thinking about right now? Gonna wait for Fire Beam to catch up here. Really? Okay. <laughs> really though five five engineers on board okay i get it that is pretty epic my dude Oh, snap. I guess that's where we're at. It's fully charged. Charge ion. All right, there we go. I'm just going to not clone them right now. Get our power fixed up. All right, intruders on board. This ship is always only a two crew ship. In fact, let me just teleport over now and we'll defend with something else.
There's fires in there for now. Fifty-two and an anti-combat drone. Cool, man. Well, I would like to see one more store before we go any further. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jumps before the exit. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Doesn't quite work, does it? It does. You can also go up here. Does that solve anything? Only way to the exit is going to be this one. I'm going to go down here then. One or two stores is going to be awaiting us here. Buy a power bar. Cool. Alright, one more clone for you guys. Probably just buying four shields here very soon. You know what this runs felt like? It's felt like a run where we got long range scanners in sector one. Sensors for 14. You know what? Okay, I agree. Sensors are cool. Okay, here we go. All right, awesome. Awesome. Didn't even eat our store here. So one of these quest markers is going to be um, the NG Homeworld quest event, and we're going to see them both. They'll both be trying to jump from us. That's okay. Sultan Shield Bypass, Backup DNA Bank, Anti-Drones out of here. I'm still going to hold on to Small Bomb because in a flex situation has some uses still. But we can't have nine power, so we can't power everything showing. Another store, okay. Must be an NG sector. All right. Um... Pole beam is better than fire beam for killing the flagship. Not better for getting crew kills, but we have crew teleporter for that, so it's time to do this. Well, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Charge heavy laser 2 is definitely good enough, but a whole beam can do 8 damage per pass on the flagship. That's not like a small amount of scrap, I don't think. The weapon I really want is Heavy Laser 1. That's the one. I could drop the small bomb to buy whole beam and then switch between the fire beam and the whole beam situationally. Still think small bomb has some value. I'm going to go ahead and do that play anyways. I think it's interesting sounding. And the likelihood of us using small bomb is very low. I mean, very low. Okay, so enemy FTL charging, as they do. 
On this one, I'm swapping to whole beam. While uh, crew kill's all right here, you don't actually get anything extra for doing that. And uh, with a shield hack, we'll be able to disable enough systems to stop them from running, which is my main concern at this moment. All right, so we're gonna pause till it fires. It's gonna be really close. As close as it gets. I'm gonna start level three hack here. A lot of projectiles incoming, dude. All right, we're gonna ignore these guys and attack because this was not the um, not the event. That means the one above us is the event for this. Both the ships on the NG Homeworld quest event try to run from you. Only one of them is the real one. 36 and quest time. This is going to be the exact same deal. It's going to be an enemy ship that's trying to run from us. Except, however, this one will have the information. Okay. Very similar estimation on this. Now, I could get a little extra scrap by crew killing this, but with a small missile launcher and not any safety, it's, like, really tough to justify. Let's do this first. This will pull the guy off of piloting, and then we can heavy laser here, charge here. Okay, we're going to let him go. So crew kill there gives you the scrap reward and the um, event reward. No regrets. Oh, that seems like a great deal. I'm in. Civilian Sector 7. Feels like it should be the end of Sector 7 right now. We're kind of like a whole sector ahead of our uh, our stuff. Now, I also know that this is going to be a full heal after the event, so I might as well go up here first and then head over. Hmm. This looks like a sector where getting only three nebulas makes sense, too. I'm going to take this one first. I'm going to go one, two, three, four... And then we'll go up here and down and around. Honestly, a little bit awkward in here. This does not connect over, so this is dead end city. No oh, thanks, I'm about to get a full repair once again. Prepare to fight. Alright, with three engines, we're basically safe here. Might as well wait to use the backup battery till it's relevant. Right now. Oh yeah, I don't have, uh, hacking. Okay. Let's send out the hack onto shields right now. Actually, hold up, hold up, hold up. Just gonna do it on piloting here. Keep it simple. I think this might be our run where I go into artillery flak towards the end of the run. You should have the scrap to do that. Oh, right. I remember now. I was powering my weapons with nothing. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Alright, alright. Well, since this is a fight, I might as well do this. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Sure. Another Ion Storm, let's go. Let's go. Okay, should get a crew kill on this ship. I gotta disable weapons first, though. That's the plan. please. Yeah, the direction you jump has no um, <laughs> no bearing on which way the fleet goes or how far the fleet travels. Just add it on a per jump basis. Quest time. All right, that is a big missile launcher. Fire beam or whole beam here? With this amount of hull, I am very feeling very unlikely that we get a crew kill. Okay, it wasn't that unlikely. You know what? I'm late on or early on hacking with the fire beam, unfortunately. It's all right. Whoa, we didn't get that down either? Hold up a second. Sirs. Alright, we're gonna go triple fire through here. Ooh, it's spicy right now. Love it. All right, now we're going to do like this. You know, this is as good of a time as I need to board him with rocks. They got uh, immunity to fire.
Yo, zombie, thanks for 52 months. Much appreciation. You rock. There it is. Big reward, titanium system casing, and eight hole points repair. I got 456 scrap on hand right now. That's a little bit. It's a little bit of scrap ado. All right, I'm literally out of excuses not to buy four shields at this moment. Come by a value three clone bay here. Means our crew heals for 25 per jump. A lot less cloning. Thanks. Uh, let's, we'll never surrender? I mean, we did that one time. We're not going to talk about that, though. This is a great example of a ship that's going to be good with fire beam. Here they come. I seriously hacked too early here again? Mercy. Double fire already? What if I then set fires from your engines all the way through O2? So fire beam, unlike other beams, has a chance to start fire per square it enters, where other beams are a little different. They do damage per room they hit. This is spicy as heck. Yeah, enemy FTLs delayed big time. Big time delayed, Pirate Aggressor. All right, dude, we'll enjoy your new Pirate Aggressor ship, Nicola. You did good, man. You survived. Nice work. Yo, Gural7, thanks for making it official with Prime 2. So many new uh, Tier 1 and Prime subs today. Just thank you all for that consideration. Oh, man, we got the, th the number 3 fire beam option here. Show the pirate how to intimidate settlers. Burn their crops. Let's not do that. Let's instead attack the pirate here. Um, can definitely afford the whole damage. And double reward sounds cool. Since it's a settlement that's in a set location, it's not like they get away from us. It's going to happen. Going to happen. Definitely not going for a uh, crew kill on this one. Blue option just gets you a reward. Uh, maybe even a weapon or augmentation or something. Really should have loaded whole beam here. Whoops. It's okay, we can big time delay repairs like this. But it's true that the Fed Sea is technically a pirate ship. No argument from me. Um, well. Oh, I'm gonna hang out for a second. There's one down.
Nah. Piracy cannot be forgiven. Attack. We good, we good. Double reward, love it. I'm gonna try for fire beam here. I don't think it's a good idea, but you know, mine. Ice scrap and drone schematic is the reward there. Thanks. I believe that. All right, so let's start by um, fire beaming like this, like this. And then when there's multiple fires, now we fire out because there's nobody I'm piloting. Perfect. Okay, the engineer is dead. They got some big problems. All right, now if I can fire beam the O2, we might get a kill here. Hell, if they're just locked in the shield room, we can get a kill that way too. I think it's unlikely we get the crew kill, but we'll find out soon. Okay. Is he really gonna teleport over? Or is this the only safe location? Okay, let's just clone these guys while we got the time. I don't know, crew kill is um, actually possible here if the O2 burns out these fires before they spread. Oh, he put that out. Nice. It's like we got him then. Uh, I can board here. I actually am in a board here. It should be safer. Okay, I don't actually want shields to go down here. We had it either way. All right, value, value, value. It's happening. Storage cache. Now you can see a full list of our mods here, uh, Alex. It's Rebel Fleet Pursuit Indicator. Drone one, cool. Could be possible store back here. I doubt it, but you never know. Buy these two power bars as well. So if a ship has cloaking, you want to depower your level four artillery flak or beam momentarily. Um, 
actually a pretty important thing to do. Huh. I'm just going to stick to whole beam here and do an easy shield hack. Okay, weapon hack's actually a problem. Okay, that went out. Uh, I'm going to do this here. This should pull them off of their piloting. Yeah, okay, they're off piloting now. Uh, this is firing out, fair enough. Let's do heavy laser here and over here, if that's the case. We're good. Whew. Yo, King Midas, Vivo, thanks for three months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thanks for that kind message as well, King Midas. Alright, we'll never surrender. Except that one time and the other time. Okay, only two crew here with the med bay. Should be pretty slam dunky. Coin flip. Got it. Good dodges, crew. Nice work. Oh, snap. There is a store back here. I believe this one's over halfway mark, so I'm going to take the exit store and then dive. Certainly in position to take that kind of risk. Attack the rebels. Okay, double launcher here. Hmm... Let's go level 3 shield hack, fire beam. Thanks, titanium system plating. Nice. Really? We're still going. Alright then. Nice work. Put the fire beam down. Looks like they have high level O2 here, so they're just going to have a really hard time clearing out these fires. Oh, the store did get overtaken. Oh, well. We didn't need it. Alright, I'd like to get one repair station on the way to the base. That'd be nice. Thank you. 
Talked about this earlier, uh, Goose Boy. It's a very common question. The reason they haven't made a sequel to this game is because they don't want to and they don't need to. Because FTL, even after 10 years, is still the gold standard for the game type. So it'd be very hard to improve upon uh, for the devs. Still considered uh, pretty much best in class for its game type. They also made Into the Breach and are probably working on another project at this point. It's really not the job of FTL to improve upon itself, it's the job of another game in the same genre to come along and do something different or better. I'm getting a little low on drone parts here. That is way too close, I'm just gonna actually depower this real fast. Oh, he fired anyways. Okay. That was nice. Hmm. Do I just go in here? I think so. So I think that's the play. On that same note, while I appreciate everybody's creativity, I'd really prefer not to hear all of the ways you think FTL could be improved while I'm playing FTL. I pretty much think it's a slam dunk game overall. That'd be a great discussion for the FTL channel in Discord. May even join you in there. Okay, let's go ahead and not accept surrender because they're dead super dead mega dead well we're going into a dive here I'm hoping this repair station is not overtaken after this dive I guess we can go here and could have the option to dive back even I would love a store. It's not going to happen, though. I'm going to take this jump because there's a split to get to a repair station either way, and then I can dive back. Let's go ahead and get this max engine power, too, so we can run away from any ship that we need to. Okay. ASB, danger. I'm not even going to worry about killing this ship. I'm just jumping away from it. Oh, snap. That's going to fire. I don't think our hacking part makes it in time either. I goofed. Coin flip. Got him. Okay. Nice, the repair station was still available. It's important for two things. Uh, one, it gets us back to full hull, and it means we can use hacking part, even multiple hacking parts on each fight remaining. Okay, this is a very non-threatening ship, so it looks like Firebeam City.
We sure have. It's been a very lucrative run for sure. Oh, I mean, what do I even want to hit here? Let's go ahead and heavy laser into shields. This will expedite. I mean, I do eventually want to take down um, Medbay here, but it's not like a rush. Like a small bomb, heavy laser too. This ship, in the best of circumstances, would not be able to damage us as long as I moved my crew at least a little bit. Okay, so now let's go from here through here. Actually, a little bit lower so I can touch both the squares inside the med bay. If we get three more ship fights, we will fully upgrade the ship, I think. Last one would be here, so probably not. All right, let's go three doors, three piloting. And for the flagship, I'm just gonna use hull beam. I just wanna kill the flagship as quickly as possible, especially without cloaking. It's an interesting idea, yes, but the chain ion's a little bit too slow for that. It's a good thought. I think the chance for a fire beam to start a fire is 50% per square. I don't know that for a fact. I'm just a guess. Okay, I might as well check this out. Aid the civilians. Okay, okay. Yikes. That's tough. <sighs> if I don't hack weapons here, they're almost certainly going to be able to fire the missile launcher. All right, so we're going to hack weapons. That might get hit. Yeah. My last chance to hack weapons here without having to uh, dodge. Ooh, it's coming in the other side. Interesting. Okay, that was better. So, general idea here is we're going to try to fire and disable this, and if it doesn't work, we'll just jump back to the base. Yeah, I was going to say it's unlikely. Alright, here we go. Hoping for a decent hack. Ooh, weapons. That is tough, man. Not, in fact, the end of the world, though. Ouch. <laughs> That's awesome. That was really good. Thank you, game. Please repair that. It's fine. Could be a quad kill. Or a double miss, okay. 
Okay, well, they're all trying to go to the med bay now. Darn, they're going to make it there, too. It was tough. Weapons hack definitely is not a helpful circumstance, but we were bailed out a bit by having level 4 artillery beam here. Okay, could have been a lot worse. Yo, FX1K, thanks for 108 months of support. Big old legend right there. Thanks, dude. All right, should be relatively smooth sailing now. Yes, considering weapons hack, that went really well. I agree. So we're going to wait for them at the base right now for phase, uh, phase two, because we want to jump into them phase three. It's just a good general rule to follow playing FTL. Okay, good hacking toggle here. That was a nice and easy one. Okay, we're going to go into level 202 now. We're going to open the doors. Uh, we're going to defend this by putting him here. I am late on my hack, and that's all right. Jumping into them phase three. Whoa, I got too many doors open. Holy guacamole, that's not good. Okay. Let's abandon this room real quick. Okay, here we go. Let's go whole beam on the max damage route. Good. Okay, here comes the drone phase. That should be the kill right there. Oh, yeah, we're good. All right, feeling better. Phase three is the scariest phase, but we have a lot of tools for dealing with phase three. We have lots of crew to offset mind control. We have artillery flak to help strip the shield. Got a decent weapon set up as well. Okay. We've also done the very smart thing of leaving ourselves the base to jump back to. So if things go terribly wrong here, which they often do on phase three, we can just jump back and reset it. We could even kidnap crew on phase three to have less crew to deal with for the second attempt. Okay, that's a pretty good mind control, actually. Should be out of mind control pretty soon. All right, well, Bazinga, here we go. It's gonna try to finish this off now. That's fine. It's pretty good, actually. may lose the artillery beam here. They lost their shields, though. That's a big deal. Okay. 
Got him. G G. What a very cool Federation C run. Definitely some redemption compared to the uh, the previous run. No doubt there. Awesome possum. Definitely calls for some dapper time. All right, GG. So hear me out here. I think we're at or over 7k on this run. We only had two functional upgrades left to buy, and we had no scrap recovery arm as part of the run. We also, while well, we got some drops to sell, we didn't sell that much to improve the ship. There was no, like, big money drops, like, uh, there was no Vulcans, Flak 2s, uh, things like that. So I'm putting it at 7k on the button. Peter draws with a six, seven, eight, nine. Nice guess, man. It's all making sense. I'm saying 7K on the dot. 7369. What an amazing run. That is, in fact, the number one score of the FTL 101 right there. 64 ships defeated. Could have been 65 if I took that. Didn't take that fuel uh, bribe. 111 begins with 2,523 scrap collected. That's the stuff right there. Number one. Only really spectacular, really. All right, let's see what's up here. Uh, I just missed which ones I rolled. I saw Stealthy in there. Actually, I saw three ships we just done. We're going to roll again. One, two, three. Well, out of those three, it's definitely going to be Manus B for me. Manus B will be our next ship. Very cool, man. Does anybody know if the Blunarius event is back up in Bloons yet? Surprise it's been down. It's been down since like uh, 10 p.m. last night. They're working on fixing some bug or another. I guess if there's an update queued, would probably uh, let me know what's up with that. No update queued. That was a really great run. Just reflecting on the run that was. Really good. I've only done one Manus B run out of our 56 runs so far. It seems like a great time to do another one. Uh, we're going to do Mantis B next, and then we'll probably swap games after that. we got a nice long all-day stream going today, but I'm uh, going to give it a go. This is me number 57. Going to grab some names for our crew here, which is going to be... Where are we at? Petey and oh nos.
Hey, Dead Orchid G. The glad you could be here today. Thanks for 57 months, man. Let's go uh, Neon Crab. Sounds cool. Sounds cool indeed. All right, guys, before we kick off this run, uh, just about halfway through our all-day broadcast today at the six-hour mark, I'm just going to stand up, stretch my legs real fast, uh, use the restroom, grab some water, do all that stuff. Encourage you all to do those same things as well. As a reminder, no ads during any break during the show played by me. Just do one set at the very end. We'll return in just a moment to kick off Mantis B, our third run of today, and the 57th run of the FTL 101 series. We'll catch you in just a minute. Do I have any kitties right now? No kitties for me. Let's go ahead and head back in here. Be back in uh, just a couple minutes to kick off this run and do it again. Thank you. 
Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks for your patience during that very brief intermission. We're off on run number 57, the Neon Crab. And we're off. So, Manus B is a unique ship in that it is the only ship to start with two shields. It starts with two shields, boarding, and defense thrown. It also has the four-man crew teleporter, but it has a very weakened state in the beginning, even though it has two shields. If you take damage and fire start in these rooms, man is suck at putting out fires. So an uncontained double fire down here can actually be the end of your run. I'm a big fan of any four-man boarding ship. Let me just say that. Big fan. But you do have to overcome an initial hurdle on this ship. Okay, like this ship, I can't board. I can't board it. It's really not the end of the world if you can't fight a ship uh, early on. It's not a big deal. It's just part of playing the ship. Uh, you do hope not to see automated vessels and Zoltan ships before you get a weapon, though. If we just get out of here without taking damage, be quite happy. You can't board past Zoltan shield. Uh, Zoltan shield for the player works the same way. We need something to deal damage to take down the Zoltan shield in order to board. And we're out. <laughs> okay. Enemy FTL charging. Okay, we're going to send out a boarding drone here. And either it's going to land in this room or this room, or we're pr they're probably getting away. Okay, well, they're getting away. Luckily, again, they can't damage us. So we're very fortunate there's no damage happening here. Hey, Psychic, thanks for 62 months. Appreciate that. All gravy, baby. I'm hoping not for a double fleet pursuit here, but if that does happen, we're in a nebula, so it's only like one extra jump. Oh my god, guys, this is not a rough start. We're only two jumps into the run. We haven't taken hull damage yet. We haven't taken hull damage yet. Two jumps into the run gonna be okay. Definitely not ideal, though. Okay, this ship. This ship we can kill. Hooray! Step one here is to send out boarding drone when it's available. Okay, going defense first. Gonna be a little toggling. Okay, now boarding. Weapons would be great. Okay, that's fine too. Okay, just gonna give a little toggle here. Yeah, definitely gentle giant. No, uh, no free crew and then immediate ion or something like you'd, you'd really like to see. I'll give you that one. It's early though, it's early. I think a big part of being successful in this game is overcoming uh, bad starts in general. It can be very uh, difficult and sometimes frustrating to do, but um, there's always room for recovery in FTL. I say some of my most, in fact, my most memorable runs of this game are always runs where we go down to red hole in the first couple of jumps and then uh, have some sort of scrape back as we still win the run. Those are the good ones. 
carries are fun too. Yo, Giz, thanks for 43 biggins, dude. Hell yeah. This will also sound dumb, but there is some truth to it. That you'd rather get a bad sector early on if you survive it. Because there's the least scrap available in the early game. Scrap is also at its highest value in the early game. But you're losing less scrap for skipping fights now than you would be later. Yep, we ran him out of missiles. Now all we gotta do is wait. The boarding drone's gonna go between the weapons room and the engine room, and eventually the auto scout will be destroyed. So, uh, Zimba, there is one way you can manipulate the boarding drone into landing in a specific area, and that is if you board a room before the boarding drone hits it. So like if we were in this room before the boarding drone arrived on their ship and it landed here, it would deviate out of the room. So on the automated ship type that has the piloting separated from the two compartments on the side, if you have level two teleporter, you teleport into the piloting. That way, if the boarding drone goes there, it deviates left or right and kill the ship. But once the boarding drone is on their ship, it is doing its own thing uh, no more control for the player. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Maybe we'll be able to demonstrate that this run. <laughs> I hope not, but we might. Okay, it's a start. Let's take this jump and go back over this way. Should let us see almost everything. Okay, we did not see this jump down here. What does Manus B have to sell? Well, boarding drone and Manus pheromones. Okay, Manus pheromones sell for 25? Alright, this is the one here. I really hope this works out. So we're going to send boarding drone out, and we're going to really hope it does not land in piloting. 20% chance we can't kill this ship. Thank goodness. And it landed on the side that guarantees we will not take damage. Beautiful. So if the boarding drone lands here, it has nowhere to walk to, and then, well, tough luck for us. But if you have level two teleporting, that's when you teleport into piloting before sending the boarding drone. So if it lands there, it shifts left or right. The uh, game is still functionally uh, the exact same uh, Zimba if you played two years ago. Uh, the last major update to FTL was in 2004 when they released the advanced edition free DLC for this game, which was awesome almost like a whole new game on itself when they release that. Definitely uh, many bug fixes and localization and stuff since then. But the same core. We'll note we're also using a couple mods, the uh, Rebel Fleet Pursuit with, yeah, Rebel Fleet Pursuit Indicator and uh, High Res Backgrounds version 2. 2014. 
Always great when you're streaming, so if you misspeak at all, at least three people will correct you immediately. Yeah, Chonger, we do have to wait here. That's true. And thank you for the correction. I was not being uh, snarky there. Also, if you have level 2 teleporter here, it speeds up the situation because then you can uh, destroy the piloting repeatedly. How much is left? I just got a lot of meat left in the sector. I think with my first 30 scrap, unless I see a store on the next jump, I'm going to purchase uh, level 2 teleporter. Okay, so, so far, uh, this run, we've seen... Is this three or four automated ships in a Zoltan ship? Gotta be. Hey, Matt, thanks for four wonderful months. Appreciate that continuation. Level 2 teleporter allows us to teleport over and then teleport our crew back with 10 health. Whereas right now they would die to suffocation on the enemy ship. Yo, Slugger, what a name, what a player. Thanks for making it official with Prime, dude. I got a good feeling after this is going to be all easy boarding ships for PD and Ono. So we're going to pick up some crew, weapon... Get on going. I guess one thing you could say about Manus B is it's the most prepared ship to have a bad start. You're already quite ahead but with the two shields and defense drone. Two, two shields defense drone will protect you against most things in Sector 1, Sector 2. Definitely not in a defensive disadvantage. You can do it one more time, boarding drone. I believe in you. Sorry about that. There we go. Way to be boarding drone. I say it's been a very fun uh, third all day Sunday stream we've done here. Yo, Hexo Frog, and thanks for 38 months. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thanks, Lexi Snap. That's what we're here for. I think one of the things I um, enjoy most about streaming is answering questions, sharing game knowledge, and stuff like that. That's where all the good stuff is. It's actually an original goal of my content even before I started streaming to uh, help people improve at the games they enjoy playing. I'm glad to still be here doing that. This channel and community truly, though, is a collaborative effort. Uh, could not do it without you. 
So thanks to everybody uh, answering questions themselves or just hanging around learning and maybe passing that information on to somebody else at a later date. Oh man, that rock didn't even make it over before the other crew died. That is brutal. Um, okay, so I can rock the boat here. I can bring the engineer to the weapons to get double damage, or I can just stay on target. Even though it would give us a two-on-one, he's already pretty readily winning this fight at now. It's going to leave both the crew doing damage. That'll be faster. Okay, Dugesonator, thanks for six months, and Hexo, thanks for 38 once again. Here, I may have lost my place there, or not. Brains are cool. Okay. What I'm thinking right now is if I head up this way, I'm probably going to forfeit some portion of the bottom jumps. Okay, half, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half. I guess we still make that. But let's include this in our, our jump. Whether I leave through the exit or not, it's going to be an extra jump. Let's buy this level 2 teleporter. Level 2 teleporter serves two main purposes. The biggest of, it makes it so on that automated assault ship, we can land the boarding drone where we want. Secondly, it opens up crew discovery options on certain beacons. Okay. Uh, they're in sensors right now? Yikes. Just two humans? Okay. Tasty treat for PD and Onos. Okay. I'm going to go here. I can't get this jump no matter how I do it. This won't work, so I'm just going to take the bottom line here. Five jumps. All right, unmanned patrol ship. Boarding drone out. Please land in weapons. That's not weapons, but it's fine. Oh boy, is this okay? Actually, guess it doesn't really matter. Um, with that miss. I am boarding. Hold on, hold on. This is a cloaking ship. I am not boarding. I'm open to boarding after their next cloak phase, or if the drone goes in here. Okay, that's good. This was not a good idea. Okay. It's fine. Okay, we're going to repair this before I heal. Getting the boarding drone back on online is priority at the moment.
Yo, what I gotta be wary now of is repair of this. Hmm, so they have level one or level two piloting. So this, my thought is I could board into um, the cloaking room right now to force the boarding drone right over to the weapons, or I can just board weapons right now. We're going to board weapons right now. There we go. Very nice. Much safer this way. Doesn't feel like it, but since they can't damage us with weapons anymore, we're not we're not waiting for a double fire to happen in our O2 system. Two teleporter paying off immediately. We didn't have two teleporter there. The boarding drone kind of had to land in this room. If it lands on this side at all, it'll always choose the room closest to go to. Almost a disaster. 19, beautiful, beautiful. Store. Of course the store is right there. Okay. I am gonna skip this store and just move forward. I got I got what I need at this moment. I would love to see the store. Can also go one, two, three, four here. Weapons big, there's only one weapon I can really afford though, and that's flak. I'm going to take this one and consider this route that doesn't, uh, that misses a jump. Someone want to sell to me? They do. Okay. Okay. Something I can't buy. Small bomb is definitely like okay-ish. It's good enough here. Um, Halberd beam's fine. It's just really far away from being online. Hell, all the weapons here are far away from being online. We are, however, not guaranteed to see any weapons for the rest of the run. So my general rule is to buy the first weapon I see because I'm not guaranteed anything else, which is definitely true. Halber Beam does fit into a three slot system. It's not definitely not the weapon I wanted to see, but it lets us know we don't need to go to this store and we're just now going to get the maximum value out of the rest of the sector one. And we have something to work towards. Let's attack the pirate, dude. Hell yeah. Okay, what's actually going on over here? They can't damage us. It's a start. Alright, it's going to take some boarding drone trickery. Okay, so I'm going to board into shields. I'm going to wait till these two crew are rather lowish. Or near going to the med bay. Okay, they're all consumed fighting or healing right now. So, I'm going to let this do its thing now. Okay, this guy's dead, or was about to be dead. Get back here so I can kill you, sir. Sir. Dang it, man. Dang it. 
I goofed that. So, the small mistake I made is I should have had a crew be going to the med bay at the same time. Then we would have killed off the third crew, which was an important note. I'm going to do the same thing here, though. Um, there's no way they can all go in the med bay. There's not enough room. Okay, he's dead. they have higher level med bay, why wouldn't they? No. Did he finish that repair? Holy crap. If I have to send out a second drone, so be it. So be it. in shield room. Okay. Okay, we're good now. We're gonna chunk through this level one med bay. I think... Oh, man, come on, man. Come on. Ah, they're really making me work for it here. Only teleported one back, of course. Okay, they're trying to get away. That's just not going to happen. Yeah, their O2 is going to run out for sure. Problem is they have level 2 medbay now. I got one more thing I can try. Okay, is he going into the med bay? He is. It's level two as well. Hmm. Okay, here we go. You're not gonna try for the shield, sir? Here we go. So this guy has to run through uh, two no-02 rooms, and he has to run through this guy. Got him. Okay, I'm gonna try to get ahead of him here, too. We're good. Holy guacamole. Dude, that is definitely a weapon I like. We got there. Barely. <clears throat> this is problematic because I'd have to sell the boarding drone and the halberd beam, which I just purchased for 65. I don't think so. I don't think so.
all of that action could have been um, greatly simplified if I just would have sent both crew to the med bay at the same time on the first board. All right, I got you caught up here. Demori, thanks for 52 months. Dale, thanks for 53. My pleasure, man. And Flashpoint, thanks for 48 consecutive. You rock. What kind of ship we got going on here? No med bay, no clone bay. Makes me happy. No anti-personnel either. Great. I was going to mix them up here, because whenever the rock's involved in the combat situation, uh, he's much slower to get there than the other crew. All right, one hole repair and 21 scrap. Appreciate that scrap, though. My next 65 scrap must go into getting the Halber Beam online so we can enter Zoltan ships. Okay, uh, here we go. Probably another double drone part ship, but we got we got the solution. Yep. Not gonna board till they're out of missiles, just for safety reasons. Oh, this run's been a clinic on early game uh, Mantis B tough events. Value point and shields, my man. Got him. Hey there, bacon armor. I'm glad you can make it. Defense drones already saved us like 25 damage this run. What a hero. Should only be one or two more missiles, max. Okay, that one missed. Good job. Good dodges. All right, that was last missile. Generally, if you have a choice between two, you pick Defense 1, because Defense 1 only targets missiles and other missile-style projectiles, so it's more consistent in blocking the thing you want. Or Defense 2 also blocks things that block shields. That does not mean that Defense 2 has no place, it's just if you usually can pick one, it's Defense 1. Won a lot of runs with Defense 2 as well. Defense 2 is usually like a complement to a drone defense. Maybe you have two shields and defense 2 instead of three shields, right? That's right, Dale. Unless your borders are rocks or lanius, um, you're not making it back at level 1.
aid the civilian ship, man. All right, defense drone, easy board. Here we go. Easy ship, easy life. Could possibly have enough to purchase uh, our weapon upgrade after this. Looking good. Looking good. Welcome aboard, Varnus. This guy knows what's up. Okay, having a third border is great. Uh, and also having the ability to damage ships is very good, too. My FTL just crashed. That's like... The third time ever that's happened. When Steam crashes, that makes sense. Let's try it again. It is a really stable game. Like, it's honestly legitimately surprised anytime it crashes. It turns out everything's fine. All right, let's go here and here. Okay, Halber Beam's online. Great. Got third border. Great. This store is a trap because I, I like. I've already got my weapon. I just bought what I needed to. And we'd also have to jump back and miss another jump this sector to get that store. Forget that. Do, 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 do. What's your offer? As long as I don't kill them all, I can do that because I got a helper beam. So our goal now is not to kill this ship. It's simply to injure them enough that they don't want to be pirates anymore. That'll be easy. Give them the old slice and dice. Yes, very good point. The rock's immunity to fire makes the fire hazard on this side of the ship no longer an issue. Yes, I will let you live in return. Full Smasher Laser Mark II. Well, that's uh, some serendipity right there, because that is a weapon that can target a specific system, such as Med Bay or Clone Bay. Also gives us somewhere to go with our weapons. Alright, let's go ahead and buy an engine now. Pretty good. Pretty good. Stun bomb? Not bad. Not bad at all. I will buy... Oh, I don't know if I should buy any fuel here. It's a boarding run. It's very likely we get more fuel. I'm going to do three for six. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight jumps before the exit. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, we got plenty of room. Okay, forward scout of the rebel fleet is going to try to run from us. What they don't know is we're going to three-man boarding party and just jam them. There's only going to be three crew here, so we're guaranteed to take them off of piloting. And our crew is much better at fighting than theirs is. was a very small chance of anti-personnel drone with the fire drone, but five drones at this point, very unlikely. All right, Kadung, thanks for 106 months, followed by Steam313's 107-month resubscription. Holy guacamole.
I was truly blessed to be supported by so many people for so long now. They're all too kind. Oh, well, let's go look. We found it. Great. Okay, this ship does have med bay. All right. Um, let's go defense drone. It's gonna go three man board. Whole laser the med bay. We'll keep it simple. Heavy ion, okay. That's not a weapon I'm going to use, but it's sellable. Yo, Grabsy, thanks for three months. Okay, another store. We do have stuff to exchange, so that's good. How many jumps until the exit? Six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Let's do this path where we get the four jumps before the store. I like that one. Pirate hacker. Let's see where the hacking lands. Engines, alright. Ooh, double manis. Glad I boarded as a three-man party. More of those ships, please. Thank you. Uh, as soon as the beacon is overtaken by the rebel fleet, Phoenix Rising, it is no longer whatever it was. All right, we got Pulsar Danger here. Uh, they also have Med Bay, so scary. I'm going to board in and shoot the whole laser. That's the plan. Problem is we're going to lose both shields here. Okay, we still get to fire the hole. Good. Let's swap these two. Okay, their weapons are still up. Okay, we're good. Just barely, though. Six fuel, 21 scrap. That's a good one. That's a good one right there. We are going to consider buying crew. It's usually around Sector 6. And if it's that much of a desperation, usually not caring too much which type of crew it is. Uh, slug Pilot can sometimes be purchased. NG sometimes is purchased. Um, but really, with Teleporter and Boarding, we're likely to find other crew uh, with other events. Okay. Looking good. We're free of ion damage, finally. Oh, we don't have our FTL charge, though. 
we have a command for this, maybe? There it is. Very common and natural question. Okay, Manus War Camp, I am going to uh, pledge to do what I can. In fact, I think Boarding Drone allows the success at that event. Yo, look what happened here. O2 fire. Glad I have a rock now. Okay, there's hacking. Well, it's probably just gonna be a hacking pickup right now. I think I'm gonna hold on to my boarding drone for one more set, because I'm pretty sure it's firebomb boarding drone that are the two things that get the Manus War Camp finished. Okay. We got hacking. We're selling heavy ion. Am I ever going to use Stun Bomb? You know, right now there is a situation where I could think of using Stun Bomb. It's really fringe, but... Sounds good. I don't think it sounds better than buying backup battery right now, though. Rocks don't put out fires faster, no. Uh, how fast fires are put out is tied to repair skill. Rocks have a one. Only crew that's faster at putting out fires would be Engineer and possibly Lanius, depending on the O2 situation. No thanks. You know, Zoltan Homeworld sounds real cool. I'm gonna go over here. Missile, weapon, or firebomb. Okay, thanks for the correction on the Mantis War Camp. Might be uh, sliding to the side of that one then. I'm gonna go up here first though and go down. Let's do it this way. Server QC, thanks for 92 months. Thank you. All right, well, they're likely going to board me, and double missile makes it quite tough. I mean, whole laser is going to solve it in a minute, but the first missile is probably going to hit. I could hack to make up the difference in time. Yeah, uh, let's do that. Let's do that. I'm gonna let them board here and then kill off their crew. Thank you for choosing to board in the med bay. I appreciate that. Very kind of you.
This was not smart. Okay. Uh, it's got wings. I'm gonna defense drone it. Okay, all in all, that was very worth two drone parts. Let's go. Whew. Got a little nervous there because I had a 25% chance to lose a crew, but we didn't. This will be a guaranteed takedown. Energy fighter here in Sector 3 is only going to have uh, two crew on it. Going to be an easy kill once we get over there. Going to swap the crew to the one that has less health, that does more damage, finishes faster. The best argument I can make for backup battery if you're hesitant to purchase the system is that it's always cheaper than regular power. Even at the cheapest point, one power for 20 scrap, backup battery is 35 for two. And almost every fight in FTL, not all, but almost every fight in FTL will be over or technically over by the time the backup battery wears out. You're getting two full volleys of whatever your weapon is before the battery runs out. So if you haven't damaged the ship enough to stop its weapons or whatever by then, you're probably in huge trouble anyways. How am I going to do this safely? Well, if I disable one weapon, we're safe. So I guess we're going to walk into weapons here. I'm going to drop this. I'm going to load up Halberd Beam. Okay, they boarded where in my drones? Fine. I'm actually just going to go down here and eat them. Okay, good. All right, he's dead. I'm gonna board with the Mantis here, I think. Unless it's double Mantis themselves, should be no problem here. Yeah, Slug and Zoltan, we're in the clear. Let me swap these real quick. Uh, the Zoltan is gonna do 15 room wide damage to both the crew. Uh, prepare for that. Are we good? We're good. We're good. Five fuel, 28 scrap. Beautiful. Yo, Hades 299. Thanks for 31 literal bonanza today. I'm going to head this way. Distress is tempting, but not Zoltan Homeworld chance. And also, I can't afford a lot of events without Clone Bay. Okay, cool. 
14 scrap and free emergency respirators, which is a very sellable augmentation. I'm just going to head down here. Eight, one, two, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I haven't seen these yet, have I? So going one, two up here does make some sense. Go here. Do I want to spend some scrap here at 113? I sure do. Let's go ahead and pick up a third engine right now. Looks good. Okay. This ship's not trying to run away at the start. It's just not going to run away. Um, we are going to long game this one. I'm going to go into defense drone, then I'm going to board their shields and take them out with the hole laser. No hacking part required, I hope. Uh, system damage is set, Baka Ona. Crew damage is not... Fair enough. Nice, that's really good. Actually, not so bad. They have no laser weapon. I guess I don't care at the moment. Okay, let's go here. Oh, I got value point and shields, of course. Of course. Oh, snap. Okay. Yo, awesome, Longwood Geek. Congratulations on that next step, dude. I'm glad you could make it. And cheers. Should be able to fire again and be fine here. Oh, that could have been a lot worse. Defense drone is clutch again. Okay, now I'm willing to sell boarding drone for cloaking, so we're going to check these stores for exactly that.
Oh yeah, we're already full up. We have teleporter, uh, drones, and hacking. No cloaking for us. In that case, do I even care about the stores? What am I going to buy at a store? It's going to be so cool. More projectiles would be cool. Not necessary, though. I think since we're in Zoltan Homeworlds, it might just be better to uh, float around. I can come back to the store if I want. Let's take a few jumps and hit one store, not both. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and we'll take it from there. Cool, cool. Here we go again. A little bit sketchy here, in fact. Do I need to do a medbay hack? I think I do to speed it up. Okay, halberd beam first. Let's go here and you hang out right there. I don't think I'd buy anything to complete that particular quest, no. Though, uh... I think, like, NG Homeworld quest could be a consideration to buy something to finish it. Good dodges here. Okay. Hey, you're right, Quantum Beep. Thanks for that. Appreciate that catch. Man, three shield defense drones just so good. I'm probably just going to buy that one in the next store. We'll find out soon, though. All right, got a little two shield or two uh, laser ship here. Right on, right on. Okay, boarding drone's gonna land where? Engine. That's a good place for a boarding drone to land. Because now I can board into shields and almost guarantee my whole laser hits their med bay. And the boarding drone doesn't do anything of actual substance. Awesome. Thank you. 
All right, here we go again. This one will be easy to kill after we board. It's got to get on the ship first. Asteroids should help us in that goal, and this ship, unless it has a very lucky set of things happen, should not damage us. Does not mean it will not. Okay, Halberd Beam would have been a better go there. There. All right, Store, what do you got? Show me your wares. Make them good. I mean, not bad. Not bad. Ooh, hull repair drone's an interesting idea. I haven't had one of those in a while. Honestly, with where we're at, buying a fourth crew here is not out of the question. That engineer's looking awful tempting. Okay, it's time for a boarding drone to go bye-bye. He was really good. Really good. It's awfully tempting. I think just for blue options alone, I'm going to pick this up. I normally don't buy crew this early, but it seems like a good purchase. It's a good time for it. The reason I'm even considering it is we're already kind of ahead on scrap. I'm looking to be buying three shields entering Sector 4. So uh, that is that is a pretty good place to be. And I'm also going to buy two hacking. Okay. Lauren gets a new name. Now, of any crew to, to buy, NG is the most likely to pay out with a blue option or some other reward. Ron Zealousy. Oh, hey, Varnus needs a name here, too. That's going to be elusive. Cool, cool. Wow, that's a setup right there. Holy guacamole. Very uh, fortunate time to have bought three shields, I guess. Let's go ahead and run him to engines real fast. Extra 5% dodge could be something. Good dodge. The more these fire, the more they become disjointed, which is good for us. Also, we're going to be able to disable one of two right here. Once one of two weapons is disabled, we're actually fully safe on this event. Okay, so... Now what we're going to do is we're going to board as a four-man party. Oh, please don't. I'm going to send the two Mantis over here right now. Send him out, send him back in. All right, let's go back in here. Dude, you really did a disservice to my NG there.
And he goes to shield, because that's what they do. Okay, whole beam is interesting. Uh, halberd beam, whole beam is very strong versus the flagship because it's a guaranteed two-shot volley, but does rely on the hacking system exclusively. them board here. This Manti is going to have a bad time. What do we got going on here? Mantis Engineer. All right. Let's see how this does. Okay, they got level 2 medbay. We got a start on it at least. So I'm going to board into shields here. So talk through feeling like let's give it a wide berth. That's like whole damage waiting to happen on that event. Rebel controlled sounds all right. Not shabs. Okay, we should be able to jump before the solar flare goes off. Thanks, uh, Long Island Ice Chi. Appreciate that heads up. The Blue Narius is available now. Good stuff. Might give that a few attempts after this run. See how we feel. I like to keep things open. Go with the flow, you know? <laughs> I think I'm going to take these two jumps in the store. I do want to see a store right now. I do. Alrighty. On this one, I'm going to go to level 2 teleporter right now, and we're going to board in. If we take down either weapon, we're technically safe. And after weapons down, I can hit shields and finish this off easy. Let's do this now. Hoping this goes down first. It's the better of the options. Good. Yeah, a good example of a blue option going bad but being better is the manually search the wreckage event. If you have level 2 piloting for the blue option, you can still fail the roll to get stuff, but you don't lose crew. Uh, another one that can be bad but seems good it would be like um, the satellite option to fix the satellite. If you hit cloaking there or cloak past an automated vessel, you can miss a potential reward, but you are you get the check roll without having to do a fight, which can be useful.
I think a good way to look at it is that a failure on a blue roll will always be better than uh, a failure without the blue option. Difference of losing a crew or a hole or something like that. Honestly, I should have just gone for Halbert here. I'll swap after this. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one, uh, Medkit, you're right. There is that one blue option that's like, uh, you give them a missile, and they don't want a missile. They wanted something specific. They're like, okay, thanks, I guess. I think even after that, you have the choice for another option, though, so you don't, like, lose the event. Cool, got out of that one without using a hacking part. That's beautiful. All right, I'm going to do this. One, two. Do I have anything to sell right now? No. Whole beam, I guess. Okay, enemy FTL charging. All right, if enemy FTL is charging here... I'm going to strongly hope that they have level 2 piloting or below. Yo, Gaboo, thanks for 32 months. Amazing amount of subs and resubs today. Just thank you so much, everybody. Literally couldn't do this without you, and I sure don't forget it. If you're new to our channel and format, we um, do our regular schedule weekly, and then we also have uh, two 31 day streaming events each year one in the month of December and one during the summer. So, our next upcoming 31 days will be our seventh annual Fragmas winner here on Twitch. It's normally 31 days. It's actually going to be an up to 38 day event, though, as our 10 year full time mark is coming up on January 6th, well, January 5th of next year. Very excited for that. Okay, well, uh, we're going to get this store then. And take the three jumps beforehand as well. Let's attempt to download, man. All right. Wow. What a cool little ship you got there. Actually, I should have swept a halberd beam. We know this is easier. If you're a new player in FTL, pause early, pause often, and think about the scrap that you spent when you lose your run. Don't be so quick to blame the game for screwing you over with RNG and stuff. Uh, critically think about how you spent your scrap and what worked for you and what didn't. Also, you should be starting on easy or at most normal in this game if you're new to it. You can always go to hard mode later. Uh, no, Gentle Giant, there will be no more I Want to Be the Bashi runs as part of Fragments. So you can catch all nine of the runs that were done on YouTube if you want to reminisce. 
I was a bit bummed when uh, all that stuff happened originally and I took it off the menu, but uh, having thought about it, I'm actually quite grateful. I think nine times of beating that game is enough for me. A lot of the challenge and therefore excitement was gone after that many uh, playthroughs. Okay. Do we wait out the missiles here or do a hack? I think we wait out the missiles is safer. I want to be able to kill this ship faster. But anything that's faster requires more drone par usage. I feel like if I decide right now, like, okay, fine, I'll just use a defense drone and wait out the missiles, that the laser is going to hit my my drone. I'm going to take, like, eight hull damage or something stupid. That's what I'm feeling right now. So let's do a combo play here. This is a little bit dangerous, but between the, uh, the rock and the engineer, we should be able to repair the teleporter if it goes down. Should. <laughs> so we're going to do this, and then we're going to teleport over to weapons. She's so staying here for right now. I'll go down here. If we disable one weapon, it's much less likely we have a problem. I don't know why this went down first. I really don't feel like it was going to be an Artemis, but maybe. Let's try this. Gonna wait here. Okay, nice. Just go ahead and bop the shields then. Get bopped. Let's uh let's swap back over to Halbert Beam. This has been a very technical Mantis B run. Giga should be holding down the uh, joystick, I think, R3. At least that's what it is for other consoles. Should also be in the bindings, I think, if you access the bindings from the front menu. Okay, here we go. All right, one more jump before this door. We're going to make a decision on how to upgrade after this. Honestly, just going into weapons is very good. And another one. All right, I'm not going to play with this ship. This is a shield hack halberd beam type deal. That's the stuff right there. So I think something you could do, Longwood, is you can bind R3 to something else. Like, I don't know. 
Um, the map button might help you out. Welcome frickin' aboard, Johnson. Put down that wrench and put on this boxing glove. I got a job for you. I make the Manus wear boxing gloves just so it's fair for the other crew I'm fighting, okay? I'm not a complete monster. All right, Johnson, let's get you a new name, bud. It's Air Gear. That's right, he's fully trained, so he's about half the repair speed of an NG. That's a good, good note. Weapons pre-igniter. Um, I don't think this is a pre-igniter run, but I am going to consider this. Well, I consider it. We're a little over seven and a half hours into the broadcast today. Been a very fun all-day broadcast this Sunday, and we still got a lot going. Just going to stand up, stretch real fast, uh, stretch my legs, uh, and chill out for a moment. Refill my water as well. Encourage you to do all those same things. The kitties are just not here today. That's just how it be. Catch you guys in just a moment to continue this run into Sector 4 and beyond. Okay, you guys are too wild. Before I stand up here, Zephyrnaut, thanks for the triple gift sub package, and a Raven, thanks for 85 months. 85.
All right, we're back. Thanks for your patience during that brief intermission. Are we diving this sector? We are diving this sector. Get two full extra jumps. Where we could even double dive to get three extra jumps. All right, let's consider the weapon pre-igniter. Okay, one, one argument for pre-igniter is we're definitely ahead on scrap right now. We got three shields and uh, three weapons here in Sector 4. I would like to spend money on weapons, but... We got it. I think the arguments against pre-igniter are pretty strong here, though. Uh, one, we don't currently have weapons online that would benefit from the pre-igniter. Can we get them online? Sure. But we're a long way away from that. S secondly, like right now, no matter what I power, it's going to be a mediocre first volley. Our best volleys with this type of setup means we have to wait for the hacking to strip the shields before we fire. So it really feels to me like instead of buying pre-igniter, if we bought three weapon power and got whole laser two online, might not be bad. Is very good for the flagship fight though, and that is a problem for our current setup. Okay, how much is it for weapons online? 35, 50, 75, okay, 160 plus power. A lot. I don't know, I'm, I'm really considering this. Because when we get to the flagship fight, having halberd beam, hull beam's awesome. And let's imagine a scenario where in the next three sectors we find another halberd beam. And then on the flagship fight, we can go halberd, halberd, hull beam, and one shot slam dunk. Phase one and two. Sounds nice. Okay, I don't think this is correct, but I'm doing it anyways. And I will buy one drone part, please. I think we're far enough ahead on scrap to, to do this. In fact, I'm going to buy both the drone parts. Just feel better about it already. Yeah, we, we ended up buying that for the, the, the dream, indeed. It was the possibility of that amazing setup that got me there. Alright, this ship is, like, super weak. What are you guys doing over there? Cloaking uh, does not fit in the system anymore. We currently have teleporting, hacking, and drones. So while uh, it would be fun, it's not happening here. Okay, they have at least level 2, uh... Medbay here, let's fix that. Okay, got that down now. I'm gonna pop in here real quick. I mean, I could just hack him here, but... I don't want to. Okay, as soon as they go over here, I'm going to do this. Okay. Now I just need the highest health crew on him. Perfect. Do they have they have level 3 medbay? Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? How dare you? Amazing. Definitely was not expecting the Sector 4 Level 3 Med Bay. Wow. 
That is certainly a way you could develop your ship if you wanted to. Okay, I can do this. I know exactly where my scrap's going right now. Probably should have gone into five engines, but here I am, being greedy. Okay. Very similar ordeal to what happened on the other ship. Okay. This is actually a pretty dangerous ship. Not to be trifled with. It's gonna be a second before I can damage him. Oh, dude, don't take down McClombe, though. Okay, just don't do it. Or not Clone Bay, my uh, teleporter. Words are hard. Come on, brain, get it together. Okay, well, it's only the missile launcher now. Fair. Am I actually going to get two shield bubbles down? Is the real question. Not convinced on that. Strongly considering just switching to regular offense right now. Shield hack, halberd beam. So many drone parts if I do that. Bottom line is, every single time I board that ship, I'm risking a crew loss. Of course that happened. Oh boy. There we go. Okay, I need this. Here we go. better already. Okay, I need that two shield. I'd like that. Okay, they're dead on the next hack. Good. Tough fight. This might be the least amount of actual boarding ships I've seen on a run that's been this successful on Manus B. Lots of automated. Really, nine drone parts should be fine, because when we run into ships that don't have automated drones, we're going to be able to board very successfully. I'm gonna say I think buying weapons here this early was a mistake. Five engines and power would have been better. 
Still looking fine, though. Maybe dive, maybe not. Okay. Should have had this power beforehand. Hacking landed on O2, that's cool. Gonna wait for the whole beam to catch up. That's fine. I think I just might not dive here. I think buying the pre-igniter and the weapon power like I did kind of put us in a position where diving is uh, scary. Depends on what's back there, though. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go four shields here, or four engines, excuse me. Freaking words, man. Yeah, we're going. I'm already quite far ahead on scrap. Anytime I'm far ahead on scrap, I want to get further ahead on scrap. Oh, snap. Need to be in shields here, dude. Alright, they're gonna clone at least once. Okay. I don't think this drone's gonna finish it. Unless this is level 3 and it's not. Yo, what's happening, Ken? Welcome aboard, bud. Fix this giant hole, please. You too. Get Ken a new name. Zarinma. Yo, okay, Lord13, thanks for 27 months. Thank you. I'm gonna take the non-distress jump. I'm just not feeling distresses right now. Okay, definitely not double diving here. There's no way. Still on 25 for power. Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to load up Halberd and Holbeam to start. Because pre-igniter. Okay. Weapon hack or shield hack. There's also the additional option of just boarding this ship and hacking med bay, which is looking pretty nice. I think that route gets us out of here before the flak two fires. Okay, let's go in here to start. See what happens. 
Can also lock them out of the med bay and hack weapons here, but I think some of them get out if that's the case. I guess our uh, FTL's charging the entire time, so that has to be the safest play. Maybe they don't make it out. Please hit him. Please hit him. Nice. Okay. That worked out much better than I thought it would. In fact, we're getting out of here before the ASB even fires. Wow. Get assassinated. I think NG Homeworld sounds awesome. Gonna take a few jumps, maybe take the store, maybe not. No, I'm good. No fuel required, thanks. Investigate. Free stuff, hell yeah. All right, this is uh, interesting. Not a lot of wiggle room going down to the exit here. I'm gonna skip one of these stores. Probably this one. Go here, here, and then over and back down. Uh, board it. Didn't lose somebody. Nice. Okay, let's see here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Get one more jump before the store. Fire beam, okay. We're already very good at getting crew kills, so fire beam is um, very diminished. All right. Probably going to need them. Okay, 75 for weapon upgrades, my next purchase. Okay, stiff dough and scrap, nice. Oh, hell yeah, here we go. Oh, dude. Why you do this? I can only get one of the quest markers. Um, I'd still have to dive here, too. Yikes. All right, I'm going to take a dive here to check one half of this quest, because if we 50-50 coin flip get it, that's great, and if we don't, that's fine too. I'm going to use a defense drone here. we got everything else.
Got him. Okay, great. So this definitely makes the dive worth. Uh, at the end of this is up to a 20 hull repair and titanium system plating. Very good. God returns. Man, how do I feel about a hole repair drone here? I actually feel okay about it. It delays the upgrade I want to make, but... It's another safety net. Let's uh, not buy that and go ahead and buy uh, weapon power like we were going to, so we can have whole laser halberd beam online at the start. A much quicker and uh, offense that can actually pierce something. I suppose having hull laser to hull beam was probably better than what I had powered there. Let's go ahead and buy our fifth engine as well. All right. Here we go. All right, it's a Vulcan. It's not going to have time to get fully going, but pretty close. I can board here and hack weapons again, or I could board and hack shields. I feel like it was kind of a fluke how well the weapons hack worked last time. I'm going to board into... The weapons again, but I'm going to hack medbay this time. Only need one in there for now. This way, if they make it through the med bay door, I have an out. That's what I expected to happen last time. Okay. Anybody under 45? You are. Get in the med bay, sir. Dude, we got out before the ASB again. This is awesome. your specialty piloting for nine that's a great deal well you know we just proved what we can do to a uh, dive ship here so let's go ahead and take this extra jump and try to squeeze as much extra scrap out of each sector that we can Should have had this powered. Oh, well. You're not wrong, Sten. What happened was the fight was over, so the uh, FTL begins charging faster when that happens. Oh, no. There's five of them. Okay. Okay. It's fine. It's also fine. Okay, I'm just gonna pull back now. I think there's a breach in my med bay. 
That one did not quite uh, hit the same mark as the previous dive, because there's that fifth crew. I guess there was fifth crew on the last one, too. Just we killed with the med bay instead of having to wait for the clone bay. Hey, not a missing, so that's 500 bits. And our curry, thanks for making it official with Prime, dude. Thank you. Squirrely dropping that 30 as well. Thanks a lot, Squirrely. Okay, well, let's hit a few jumps before this store. This will be a nice reward and titanium plating, so that'll be some form of scrap to spend. I mean, nice ship, dude. Nice ship. Uh, once we board this, it's going to be uh, not so bad. Yeah, they do have Clone Bay. Go hit him anyways. Well, hold on, guys. He wants to be on the weapons, fine. Board into this room. Okay, nobody's on piloting now. Great. Uh, no surrender, sir. Welcome back to your own ship. Somebody in shields right now? <laughs> Dude, here's the thing. We're all waiting for you. Okay. Double missile launcher, why you do this? Especially when I don't power my weapons, whoops. All right, what are we gonna do here? It's manned by rebels, so it should be a pretty slam dunk kill. Uh, we're getting a full repair after this too, we're up to 20, so let's not even worry about the missile launchers. Let's just board in here and then we'll halberd beam in a second. Not even use a hacking part here, just because we're getting the repair. I think that's significant enough. Okay, when they come back out. Go. Bam, there it is. That is the beauty of the NG Homeworld event right there. Big money. I can take two jumps before this store. I mean, why not, right? 
No, let's hit it up now. We got plating to sell as well. Dude, this whole repair drone really wants to be bought. Mega big time. You know what? Fine. If you're going to show it to me four times this run, I'm going to buy it. Four times. Um, do I don't have anything to buy for this right now other than a power bar. Those bring me closer to three hacking, which is becoming more and more relevant. Yeah, I'm going to sell that. Firebomb, can do, can do. Three hacking, can do. Two backup batteries next. I'm not convinced I'm going to dive here. I get like one extra jump. I can get... Uh, maybe three jumps if the dive was perfect. Let's take these four right here and then decide what we're doing. I don't think it's diving, though. I think this is the sector we don't dive. No med bay, no clone bay. I like these guys. Welcome frickin' aboard, Kozar. What's up? I see you got the fighting spirit in ya, but uh, boarding team's full, man. Right, everybody's halfway on engines, okay. Yo, Mazok73, thanks for three awesome months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you. Dude, Baker's Dodge, thanks for five gift subs as well. What are you all doing? More store. Hmm. Okay, our pilot's mind controlled. It's easy, just kill them before uh, they kill us. The best strategy of all. Okay, that went down right away. That was kind of unexpected. Let's do like this then. Nice. We still made it out in time. Hey, glad to hear it, Mazon. Glad to hear it, dude. <laughs> okay. Sell the firebomb. Get out of here. Gonna buy a couple fuel. 
Honestly, buying drone parts at this point is never bad because we have hull repair drone, but I'm not I'm not going to invest any more in drones. We've spent a really wild amount of scrap on drones this run. Yeah, that's it. That's all we're doing. I'm going to give these guys 15 missiles. Reactor upgrade. Awesome. There's no dive here. Um, no, no, I'm not selling drone parts either. All right, rock controlled sector seven. Here we come. Another store. What am I going to buy here? I'm going to buy that other halberd beam I've been wanting to buy for the one shot dream. That's what we're buying. It's not here. How many jumps am I getting in this sector? Like maximum. Four, eight, nine, let's just say twelve. Okay, I'll buy the fuel. I'm a little overpower right now, that's fine. We'll fix that in a moment. We've got plenty of stuff to buy. That, that store is getting passed up. We're good. Scrap, please. I think we can just board shields and take out their, uh, their bay here. This is actually a volley that could hit. Not out of the question. I pull them off piloting. Just say yes, it did. Very nice. Okay, missile launch a little scary. Might just use a defense drone here. In fact, let's use a defense drone here. Same plan as last time. Board into shields, start crushing them. When there's nobody left in piloting, we're gonna fire in. Get a nice clean hit here. Beautiful. Okay, our drone went down. That's fair. Well, we got them before they fire again.
No, I have not played Multiverse yet. I may check it out after the FTL 101. But that's probably not till the end of this year at the soonest. Alright, it's gonna jump away then. Later, Tater. Okay. I'm gonna use my hole repair drone to repair their hole. While the two mana ships fight, you approach the rock ship and use the drone to fix up the ship. Once the breaches are fixed, the life support flares back on. In a matter of moments, they are already in pursuit of one of the mana ships. Meanwhile, the second mana turns towards you. I don't know if I've taken that option before is why I took it. Alright, we're going to let them board. They do have pretty significant lasers. Let's just go for a uh, shield hack here into uh, weapons and medbay hit. That's a good place for them to board. How about you get back in the med bay, sir? Thanks. Actually, you can go down here now. Jesus, they're beefy. Okay, I'm a little late to the party on this uh, volley here. Good. Oh, well, that's the beginning of the end. I think boarding is three is a good call here. Nobody's in there. Good. Still trying to break into shields. All right. Is that the last crew? Must be. Boy, howdy. I want to buy here. I actually kind of want to take this store. I'm going to in the off chance of selling the halberd beam. That'd be like the ultimate improvement to this setup. That's not that, but okay. Alright, I think it's four shield time. Let's level two backup battery time in a moment. Then weapons. Okay, that is certainly a thing you can board. Was it triple rock, though? I've got a solution to that. How you doing? PD's not winning that fight. Send the rocket. Zoltan shield bypass. You don't say.
Okay, next. Aid the civilian ship. Uh, probably just hack medbay, board medbay. That's the one. Yeah, I'm worldly one. Thanks for 23 months once again. And Dane Lidra, thanks so much for that gift as well. Generosity is legit today. Are you below 15 health? No. So he's not going to die. You're not going to die. Nobody's going to die. Just almost dead. Doesn't even count because it's almost. Okay, definitely taking these dive jumps. We're in Sector 7. Little more scrap, get a whole beam on Line 2, which I definitely want to do. Bought a lot of just little things this run that probably didn't need to. No regrets, but... Okay, that didn't work. Guess we're hacking Medbay then. Fair hit. Okay, that's a very big volley. It's gonna go for a shield hack here so we can disable their stuff. We can board afterwards. like this actually swing and a miss it's enough though it's enough how they hit with that incredible can't even be upset right now now we're gonna board shields here Okay. This has definitely gotten a little little strange. Oh. 
Oh, they got my piloting there. That's fair. That's fair. Let's just go here and vent it now. Leave uh, this and this open. Uh, and that. Dude, he was bent on getting in there. Can't blame him. Convenience O2 upgrade, nice. Grab six engine now. Did I get level two backup battery? Not yet. Okay, our next 190 scraps going into weapons. All right, for me, this is going to be an easy weapon hack run away. Thank you for choosing to try to fight in the med bay. I appreciate your attempt. the last stand. It certainly has been a run. My only regret is we did not find the second halberd beam. Still a strong one. Any repair stations we can hit make the whole repair drone even better. So let's try to get both these. Okay, ion intruder coming out is not like a jokey thing. Okay, the pilot left. That's good. Do this then. All right, we are solid. Almost not, though. It's a really nasty location for that to land. What? Alright, this just got bad. Warm missiles, okay. Okay, repair station is still active, just like it never happened. Yeah, thanks for that heads up, who knew? Wow, Devilon, thanks for 37 months. Much appreciation. We're just going to get right to it here. We're just going to get right to the flagship fight. Uh, hopefully collecting enough scrap to get our eighth weapons should happen. Should happen. There it is.
Cool. Let's go look for the rebel ship. We found it. Okay, we got a... They gotta have anti-personnel drone here. They must, right? Okay, I got 19 parts now, so let's not even play around with this. Let's just go ahead and shield hack right away. Shield hack, board in. There's that anti-personnel drone I talked about. It exists. Luckily, that rock's going to tank it up real nice. Wow, we destroyed the anti-personnel drone. Get him out. This is definitely just power bars here. Actually, let's buy two piloting power bar. Okay, weapons are online. Defense is ready. Got hull repair, 19 parts. And we're gonna wait here. Alright, hacking part coming out. Let's load up a defense drone and see where the hacking part's coming in. Well, I wouldn't have shot that, but I did. Oh, hard to get a read on this. That was weapons, though. Okay, this one... Piloting at worst? I'm letting that go. Okay, O2, that's why we have level 2 O2. have near as much dodge as I'd prefer, but this will only matter for a second. And we have whole repair drone to mix it up too. Alright, so I'm gonna start by going I'm gonna go halberd beam whole beam whole laser Okay, I was hoping for a breach here I know for a fact we're going to get a kill on the second uh, second iteration of the volley. So if we can just disable cloaking for long enough, that'll be good. Let's see if they're repairing that yet or not. Yep, they were. Nice. That's it. Pretty good phase one. Let's top it off. I almost never buy a whole repair drone, but they showed it to me four times. Four times in the run. It was meant to be. Also happened to work out very nicely for this one. Okay, we want to fight them at the base phase two.
Um. All right, we'll go level two hundred two here and defend that. Certainly a choice. Let's just go into shields. Next volley is a killer. Pretty good. You know what? I'm gonna buy level two doors here, because I can. I'm also gonna separate out my previous boarding crew into rooms where if they're mind controlled, it's not as extreme or immediate. So I'll leave him there. I'm gonna put uh rock and doors, you and sensors, and put you over in drones. Actually, you can go in O2. Daisy just ran by and meowed at me. I don't know what that, I don't know what that means, ma'am. Okay, who got the Mind Control O2 guy? That's actually pretty nice. That's pretty good. Oh, hey, as a reminder, uh, stream schedule just a slightly different this week. We're still doing our 12-hour stream here to start off the week. Uh, no stream tomorrow, then a stream for the next three days. Then we do the whole thing over again. Still a good chunk of this stream left, though. Let me tell you, just did. Okay, that's fine. I don't need O2 or we're going. That is officially it. GG. Well, three for three today on FTL in about nine hours so far. Nice one, Neon Crab. Nice. That definitely calls for some dapper time. Cool run. Not bad, man. I think high 6,000s here. 6655 is my guess. During that fight, Shy Guy Massacre. Thanks for four awesome months. Appreciate that. Fifty-five twenty-nine. Why was it so low? 
Okay, very low ships defeated there. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pick our next ship, which is going to be what? Lanius B? Kestrel B? Or Kestrel A? I guess we'll do Lanius B next. But that will not be right now. Gonna patch uh, balloons right now. Ah, small patch. All right, looks good. Road spikes, okay. All right, we got to do normal before we do elite. Uh, before we do this, though, about nine hours into our all-day broadcast, just going to stand and stretch my legs real quick, use the restroom, grab some water. Encourage you to do the same. Be back in just a couple minutes here to take on uh, Blunarius and possibly some elite Blunarius attempts as well. Going to be good.
All right, we're back. Uh, what's the map this week? I think it's called Blunarius Prime. That is the newest intermediate map. All right. All right, once you get started here, you don't stop. So, main goal for doing Blue Narius is to figure out exactly how much income we can get away with, and also what type of income we want to use. So, a couple notes about uh, this map. Is the little puddle in front of the path is currently showing every other round, it comes through here instead so it goes into this portal and comes out here and goes around now Blunarius himself goes down like this comes around and then he crosses over to this path and then goes here so it's a pretty long path but not as long as some others but he does go off of both paths I want a different hero. You know what? I'm going to use the Admiral. Admiral on deck. Admiral on deck. Uh, okay. Just a little glitchy glitch, that's all. Okay, my game crashed. I have uh, two victories on Elite Lunarius, but none none this week. This is my first attempts. All right, so we got Admiral uh, here. Where do we want to put this? So this is a pretty potent um, water style hero. It boosts the attack speed of nearby water ships and then at level 19 boost the map wide so getting a map wide attack boost on this one seems pretty good thinking like right in here or in here maybe let's see real quick if the admiral gets a range increase Increase attack range and camo balloon detection. Okay, with well, an increased uh, range right here is looking like really good. Up here looks even better. Okay, this is it. So something I also want to do is I want to get as many pops on either boomerang monkeys or dart monkeys or both. So we get higher level paragons later. I'm going to say this guy is going to cover the first sets of waves on that side. No problem. If I go here and then go crossbow, that'd be a pretty strong end on that. Let's do this. Oh yeah, I forgot the Admiral puts these mines down. That's good. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put a boat right about her, as far down south as we can go. I feel like merchantmen look like the natural choice on this map. There's definitely a strong possibility they're doing some other... Uh, Financial option could be a lot better because if you could fill the entire space with combat style units, that is a lot of damage.
So far, this placement's been awesome. Okay, something I'm interested in doing is placing some like boomerang monkeys up here where they can still get the path before they go into the portal. So like surrounding this very top portion with the monkey types that damage things the way I want. Goals. I think especially boomerang monkeys up here to get uh, that little bit extra. I don't think I get this before the wave, but maybe. Well, we got there. Nice. Yeah, I don't know if I have the monkey knowledge for sub commander right now. I should probably check that after a couple attempts here. Put another one down here. We're gonna need some more support on this side. Let's just start by putting that boomerang monkey I was talking about down like way up here up top, way up here. Oh, look at that, that's pretty nice. Still need some more help. That's fair. That's fair. All right. Health is a resource. Let's not forget it. Okay. Going to grab at least grape shot on one of these. Probably this one. Actually, in fact, let's do... Okay. Another boat right here should be strong, so it can reach the bottom portion of this track as well. Making this admiral, we got there. Good. Okay, there's a third one. Um. I'm gonna grab grape shot, hot shot on each side. This is definitely slower than I need to go, but I want to have a decent attempt here. Yes, camo detection arrives, so I didn't actually need to do the crossbow. Not that I regret that. Okay, let's go ahead and amp up the rings here. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna grab Glaive Ricochet, and then I'm gonna go down for Economy for the rest. Just wanna get... Get the pops going. Should have enough to place another one here. Let's just keep going. Maybe put one on the left here in a minute. Maybe get some hot shot, grape shot going. Certainly there's going to be a leak here soon. Get grave shot, hot shot, and at least one more over here. Um, okay, let's put a bomb shooter down over here somewhere. This looks good. Got this idea. I don't know if it's good or not. We're about to find out. And that idea is I can possibly get the majority of Blue is done with just a Moab Assassin. At least on this non-elite version. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. So, let's see if we clean this up or not. Okay, not bad, not bad. Go for additional hot shot grape shot here. Okay, here it goes. It's happening. Yep. Okay. Need more net. Alright, I'm going to do this a little bit different than just spamming Merchantmen. I think spamming Merchantmen will work here, and this map is very much designed for it. But I think if we go Banana Farm Start, we can set up um, the Boomerang Monkeys and stuff the way we want. Let's try again. Also not convinced I'm gonna go the Admiral then. It's a it's a nice idea. Admiral's probably as good as any, though I think there are some that would cover the map better. A door would be really nice in the in-between area to hit both sides of the track. I wanna try Azili. Like this could be a place this could work. So I remember her radius being bigger. So I was wrong. I think she gets a much bigger range later on, is what it is. Something like that. Yeah, that's not going to be it. Alright, you know what? Quincy, son of Quincy. Get in there. The original and still not the best. Quincy, son of Quincy. Almost beat the elite version last week with him. He should be adequate here. Look at that range on Quincy. What an what a, what a, what a awesome guy. Go like this right here.
think Edna would be quite good here. Shouldn't be bad anyways. Okay. Let's go more over to this side. We're gonna go long range rings, anywho. I'm gonna put free guy here because at crossbow we can cover both paths. I'm gonna put a little priority on that. It's gonna go to long range rings right now. See how far that gets us. Submarine could be a very high value early game option here too. As far as getting like money going. I really just want to get a high level paragon though. It's a goal. I'd like like a level 50 boomerang uh, paragon or something. Sounds cool. Hmm, is he gonna be better with the other hand here? Maybe? Uh, I think this is probably best. Go up here. Well, <laughs> how about this corner? Just gonna throw down my monkey farmer here. Let's go ahead and regret that later. Uh, Nashi, he takes it a long way around, so when he gets to this point, he passes over and then onto the other path. The Blunarius covers everything except for this little section right here. Yeah, the only downside to Engineer Monkey uh, here, Torpedo Bench, is going to take pops away from the Boomerang or Dart Monkey. So it's generally pretty effective on getting money or just wreaking some havoc up there. Certainly not bad. Okay, around 12, we're surviving here. That track's awesome. All right, I'm gonna try to get one more banana farm down. Just one. Boomerang Monkey is slaying right here. I'm loving this. Okay, a little slippage. That's okay. Little slip's gonna happen. If I saw a spot there, I did. Where is it? There it is. It's more slippage than I want. Go ahead and grab Glaive Ricochet. That should bring us, I think, pretty close to not needing any more upgrades until, uh, until boss time. All right, let me get caught up here. I'm woefully behind. Don't be bad. Thanks for 58 months. Aries, thanks for 25. Gaxter. 88 months. Shut up, Shammy. Thanks for 8. Not Steve. 83. And Mad God Rando. Thanks for 100 bits. Okay, now I think adding two merchantmen into the, uh, the mix sounds like a good idea. Do this one first. 
Doesn't have to be uh, all merchant men. It can still be part of the income. Grape shot here. Same with you. Okay, he's got hot shot covered pretty much. Let's go ahead and give this guy a crossbow so he's hitting over here too. <laughs> he's not doing the best job of hitting there. That's all right. a tough one, man. I really don't want to put that over here. I guess right here is probably still in range of the uh, other dude. Space, okay. Let's just do this real fast. Now I know I'm gonna need more poppage on this side. There's no question about that. This guy that covers both lanes should get this first. Time for hot shots. Okay, let's also solve one more problem for ourselves right now, which I don't have to solve it right at this moment, but I'm going to. It's going to be camo vision. Buying banana farm upgrades will be what we're doing at this point on Elite, but I want to cover this real fast. Oh, I should have put him more over left. In fact, you know what? Forget it. I'm going to sell that. A little coverage on the end, too. Okay, there's that. Okay, this guy's got more glaze. We got pretty good coverage over here. Let's give it a try. Let's pop his first layer now. It's not going to be enough. Okay, it's covered. Of 
Quincy, son of Quincy. Rain those arrows, man. Do it. Doing great, bud. All right, I want to set up here now with a hut. Let's add a little more money into this. We can probably get two, maybe three of these farms. Get him, Quincy, son of Quincy. Good job. Uh, I think putting this guy on last is a good suggestion. He's firing at a consistent angle anyways. All right, I'm going to put down um, Boomerang Monkey right here. I got an idea. I'm also going to put one down right here. I got an idea. You're going to be on that hand. Nope, that's the wrong way. Okay, there we go. You're done, though, Blunarius. You're done. I leave room for a hut in here, I should have. It's not up here I did. I can fix that later. Slow this down real quick. Okay, we're going to grab camo vision here. I'm gonna try to get one more banana factory here before I go any further. Anything else? Banana research facility, even. So like we get exactly one more before the boss. Okay. Definitely need more damage. Get this guy leveled up too. Okay, I've got an idea. It's very expensive, but here we are. He's going pretty slow. The money's coming in. It's going to grab another one of these. Regular wave 63 got us on that one. Fair enough. I think I'm going to put the banana farms up here. And I might even go... Uh, Merchantmen... Central Market Combo. All right, Quincy, son of Quincy, you were cool, but let's go ahead and do a Dora here. Hmm. I should go back here as a net. Bring it in right there. 
All right, Dark Monkey was not so good right here. Not so good at all. Uh, let's go ahead and put Dark Monkey right here. I'll put Boomerang Monkey on the other side. Actually, what I'm going to put down is two subs. And then go into Banana Farms. I don't know, man. Like, I like the idea of getting a high-level Paragon here, but I think I just got to go for something I know is going to survive. Get this party started. Actually, this side's probably very okay right now. Let's wait until something slips. Could also go ultra in on one type of paragon rather than trying to get both. I think for our elite balloon area, it's one of the cleanest ways to get a double, double paragon. His vision counts for stuff like the sub uh, map wide vision. Kind of stand to reason it would. good spot for the dart monkey man duly noted Okay, Adora doing much better on that wave. Does Boomerang Monkey, if he's in the corner, is he able to hit both pass back here? He would be. This is actually probably much better than the top path, or the top route. Anyways, back to that when we need to place another unit. Right now, it's all bananas, man. Bananas. Yo, G11D, thanks for 36 months. Much appreciation. Okay, almost a slip here, but not quite. Um, round 24. Let's go and get that enhanced eyesight going on. Really, probably should have just let that slip, but we're going that route anyways. Now, can I fit two in here? That's a good question. It sure feels like I can. I gotta know, does it work? Does it work? 
Oh, so close. Maybe there is a way to inch that in there. You know what? That's all right. We're just going to let that go right now. That's a good, a good run at it. Going to put down that boomerang monkey I was talking about right here that'll cover both the paths like a champ. That's much better coverage. We're just going to go straight into more glaives on this. And red hot rings too. Put a second crossbow right here. Got a good feeling about this one. Okay, yeah, he sees a little bit of that. Good. All right, we're just going to get to valuable bananas on all of these. new plan i got an idea first we gotta wait <laughs> three rounds until blenarius appears we're making it we're making it Too close, man. Too close. That means regular waves are going to be getting scary, too. Let's go here. And right here is what I want. Um... Did not complete my plan here. Okay, let's go ahead and put down a uh, primary village. Right here. Okay, primary mentoring, good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that range on that. That was beautiful, man. Let's just put it over here. This is where the slip happens. Interesting he's not going on Blunarius here. Okay, I think we're looking okay on damage.
Okay, I was going to grab this. I think that's going to be enough to finish wave one. I think I'm going to go Pirate Lord over here and then uh, embolden this side. Be cutting it close. Close is good though, that means you spent your time pretty well. That should ensure the victory versus Blunarius here, at least. Or not. Whoa there, buddy. Fair enough. Okay, 63 got us last time. Gonna stop that from happening this time. I think a recursive cluster cannon right here she looks pretty good. Bigger bomb, yep. Next, let's go here. Well, hold on. I'm waffling. Alright, I want carrier flagship. Is the upgrade I want? Because I want to put a crossbow master right here in the middle with the intention of making him paragon later. If we're gonna make Paragon though, I really gotta step up my uh, monetary gains. That's correct, Genj, that's correct. Get one more of these. grab this too. It's not going to be bad. Oh, that's some pretty good chunkies. Yeah, I'm going to grab this before I grab more bananas. I think it needs to happen. Okay. Okay, we cleared that. Nice. Oh, he still has blocked vision? Okay. I was wrong about this. I thought he was going to see over the tree because I was on top of the carrier. That is not the case, though. Okay, then. Still all good? Back. Let me just upgrade these now. I'm gonna make him Glaive Lord.
Mm, yeah, Archmage would be an awesome unit up there. I agree. A lot of good suggestions. Lots of good places to go. Alright, well, I am going to buy the next level banana farm, and then put a crossbow master down right here. Yo, Tealy Bear, thanks for 90 wonderful months. Thanks for keeping it dapper, man. Thank you. You know it'd be money? Monkey Town up here. Sounds pretty good. Fifteen thousand pops, what do you got? Forty six, twenty. He's already at eleven, wow. I've definitely learned a lot about this map, this attempt. I got a lot of ideas on how to improve for um, elite balloon areas, and we're certainly not through the thick of regular yet, just a lot of ways to go about this one. Oh, are we dead? We're not dead. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Banana Central. So the waves are only going to get more intense from here by a lot. You know who's going to be awesome right here? Juggernaut. Let's do this. All right, crossbow master now, and we'll see how that goes. This guy is all about DPS there, that's his jobs. Well, I know Moab Eliminator will sol kind of solve this, but... Let's get this primary expertise. I'm actually starting to get worried about this side um, leaking. Seems a reasonable concern. Let's go for a high quality unit here. I need him to be able to see these to do the shimmer effects. All right, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna go Archmage then primary expertise. will be really good as well. Alright, he's getting back into the damage now, so we'll see how it goes from here. I think it is time to toss down at least one more of these.
Damage is looking very okay-ish. All right, after this, I'm going to go ahead and grab the Moab Eliminator. That should be a pretty clean way through. Before I grab Moab Eliminator, however, I'm going to put down another cannon over here. This is going to be a Bloon Crush cannon. Um, let's go for a faster reload. All right, now it's time for Moab Eliminator. It's going to be some chunky damage on him. Also, it's a very quick cooldown. Banana Central boosts the income of other monkey farms. It's quite good. All right, I'm sticking uh, Feller up here. Guy is gonna go for the perma charge improve rings. So he's just gonna be getting pops non-stop up here. <laughs> I'm not convinced we're making it still. Maybe I'll just toss attack zone in here. Seems appropriate. That's the wrong one, man. Okay, I believe in this one right here. It's gonna happen. Just for the moment, I'm going to toss this down. Just to get us through this little bit. Okay, we're good. Okay, it's gonna be the last farm here. Everything else is damages. Kind of wasteful on these monkey farmers. We got lots of monkey bucks. Okay. Okay, another crossbow master right here. Okay. Uh, seven rounds. We're certainly not out of it yet, but feeling a little better. Gonna make this into a energizer. I'm just gonna do that now. I think this is an excellent spot to put Glaive Lord. It'll make me feel infinitely better about this side of the map. Gonna grab the tier five boomerang monkeys now.
Alright, Glaive Dominus is available. Uh, Glaive Dominus on this guy is definitely the ticket. Oh, this guy's looking really good for the upgrade, too. Tier four, yeah, okay. Damage is not looking bad. I wonder how the Paragon does here. I feel like it would still hit on this side, but I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna go for uh, the Crossbow Monkey Paragon next. Ooh, actually, is that gonna be more expensive than the other way? Hmm. Let's grab Crossbow Master here and try to grab Glaive Dominus. Maybe on this side, towards the end, is where I want that. For Blunarius, that definitely seems like it'd be the case, huh? Really, we're not doing bad on damage, even without the Paragon. Ah, uh, none of the Tier 5s are over here. Yikes. Didn't really think that through, did I? GG. Alright, so it was Fortified DDTs that got us. Probably should get a Monkey Intelligence Bureau or something similar in there. Good attempt. There's a lot of room for improving the income on that as well. If only filling the empty water space with merchantmen or something. Okay. Yo, Tino, thanks for 50 awesome months. Enjoy that continued lurk. Hey, thanks for letting me know what that name change was. Duly noted. All right, been going for just about 10 hours here for this all-day Sunday stream. We're not done yet, though. Going to do another attempt at Blunarius after this. I think I'm going to go for a more traditional Merchant Man strat on this one. But before we do, going to stand up, stretch, refill my water, just chill out for a moment, and we'll hop into another regular Blunarius attempt. See you in just a sec. If I had kitties, I'd give them to you. No, that is not accurate, Strelik, though it is one of the easiest solutions.
All right, we're back. Let's head in again for regular Blenarius. Very challenging map for this dude. Enjoying it. All right, you know what? I'm going to break out Benji right now. I want to see it in, in action. I think we'll have a good uh, good start with this. In fact, I know it. Benjamin's kind of like putting down an upgraded banana farm at the start of the uh, the game. At least partially upgraded. Me too, Meat Slug. It's just surprising he goes there. Benji, you hang out here in the corner. Good job. Put a boomerang monkey in here right now. Swap hands, sir. Uh, is that right? It's right for this turn. It's not right for the other turns, though. Let's go here. That'll be fine. This guy's a little misplaced, and that's okay. Boomerang Monkey's doing great, man. Good job. I bet this start monkey with the triple shot upgrade could cover the entirety of the first rounds on that side. Are we slipping? Just a little bit? Just a little bit? Fair enough. As it turns out, Daisy the Cat, I do not need my feet attacked right now. Thanks. Appreciate you thinking of me, little kitty. I see here. Oh, I probably should just consider grape shot, but I wanna I wanna wait. Daisy, you're playing a very dangerous game down there. Somebody's toes are gonna get bit, it's me. Okay here. Bearable.
Okay, we're a little bit behind here. Um, okay, after three are put down here, I'm gonna do this right up here with Glaives, Red Hot Rings, or Glaive Ricochet. Gonna be a little little glue for this build. Put him on strong. grand and wave 30 I'm gonna buy grape shot hot shot on the one side though actually I don't think I need to with this guy upgraded let's try to delay that even further you have no clearing the trees here which is part of what makes this difficult okay let's see here all right I'm popping lead no problem Cool. This little guy's doing work. Lead camo is not till 59, I don't think. So normally by this time, on any time I do strat like this, I'd be have gone uh, grape shot, hot shot already. So it's kind of nice for pulling this off without it. Interesting, at least. Yeah, Ben's just chilling down here. He's having he's having a day. up here actually how far back here can you get wow okay this is gonna be the leader of the merchant ships back here he got here first he got the the best spot I'm putting more glaives on this guy, I think. But first... I feel like I unbelievably lucked out with the, where I placed this boomerang monkey and how effective he's been. Like, that's some real magic right there.
Okay, one more. Let's put one over here. Okay, let's find the best placed ones. Uh, grape shot, hot shot on you. Grape shot, hot shot on you. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 merchantmen down before the first boss wave. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't currently have the damage to take down Blunarius. I'm going to put down a cannon right here on strong. I do not need to upgrade to Moab Assassin yet. Okay, there's that. You know, I'm going to give this guy more glaives, too. We're glaiving. that completes our primary monkey knowledge. You know what? Uh, put a hut down in here. Something. I saw a spot for it. I did. There it is. Quite yet. Soon. Okay, we're looking good on that. Was was that the his spew? All right, that was. All right. Um, for my own sanity right now, I'm gonna put down two blue antonium reactors. I don't even need to upgrade these yet. They're just, they're just going down so that I know the camo is covered. All right, now it's probably time to upgrade this. Yeah, the normal waves are totally going on while Blunarius is on the screen. It's just like an additional objective.
Gotta believe here. Alright, I'm going to save it for the tier 5 Merchantman next. So that will boost the income of all Merchantmen by 20 by, by the number of Merchantmen. Oh, dude, we need some uh, major help in the Moab popping area. Oh, uh, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Okay, we're not dead. That was the last uh, one of those two. Also increases the damage of all Merchantmen. We got a couple merchantman monkeys here, just a few. Okay. Debating what I want to put down for offense, I really got to improve this um, before we go much further. I guess just getting Grape Shot, Hot Shot on all these would be a decent start. Only three ways till the boss reappears. gonna wait till the boss appears to start putting stuff down. I know what I can get. Uh, I can especially upgrade this to uh, essentially clear this wave. Yep, central market's very good here. I agree. To see what happens here as far as damage goes. So the increased attack rate from the tier five one isn't uh, isn't a small bonus. It's pretty nice. I think maybe grabbing Glaive Lord here could be the ticket. Yeah. Moment of truth here in a sec when he pops this uh, this wave. Okay, it doesn't seem so bad. There's two merchantmen back here. Yep, two. All right, here's wave 63. 63 is not a joke. It's like we're doing all right on it, though. Mm, Glaive Lord right here would be interesting. Okay. 
Well, we're going to continue this greed. Uh, we're going to put down at least a couple central marketplaces. Yeah, I see him over here. Marketplaces first. Okay, my goal after this wave is to place a bunch of tier 5 dart monkeys and boomerang monkeys. I want to get those down and getting pops. Each of these is a 10% increase to the overall income of Merchant Monkeys, which is already off the charts. Building these central markets is just a good use of our cash. The return on investment is much faster than normal. Okay, well, we pop Lunarius in plenty of time as well, and we got crazy income. Let's finish this one off. Uh, do this, and I'm going to do some stuff. And go here. This is going to be uh, Monkey Town. Radar scanner. Let's call it Monkey City, okay? This guy's going to be Glaive Lord. Uh, this guy is going to be Perma Charge. Let's put down the Dart Monkey in the location we want for the Paragon right here. Okay, Crossbow Master. This guy's going to be Crossbow Master too. Actually, you know what? Let's stack up double Crossbow Master over here. I like this plan. I don't know if Monkey Wall Street adds anything to these, but I should just buy it right now while we got it on the mind. There we go. Go ahead and grab that, sure. Alright, now Glaive Lord. big money right there. Let's go ahead and just get the uh, the Moab push here. It should be really strong. Faster throw, Moab Dominator. Okay, we're getting pops. Leave some for the Dart Monkeys, would ya? Let's grab primary expertise, radar scanner as well. Put that on strong. I'm actually feeling pretty good for the boss right now. Or the boss wave, at least. Um. Okay, this is the location I want the other Paragon at. It's going to be the Boomerang Monkey one. It's going to be the Crossbow one. So this guy is going to pick up the Turbo Charge, Perma Charge. Improve ranks. Okay. 
Here we go. And now we're going to build carrier flagship. We're going to put some cool stuff on top of it. Oh, that's right there. Okay. I see it now. Uh, carrier actually looks pretty sick there. Not a bad spot for the Paragon um, monkey, honestly. Okay, this buffs all of our um, other units in the water. Let's go ahead and grab the improvement to Bluntonium while I'm thinking about it. And then I think Energizer will be a very good one. I don't know why I activated that, but I chose to. Okay, I think we're pretty well set up for the next round. Um, if we're not, I'll make an adjustment. Let's put down a couple more marketplaces. And start rounding out the map with stuff we like. You know what, actually, I'm gonna, not, I'm gonna put units over there, I think. Eh. Life's hard when you got lots of monkey bucks. Okay, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Definitely want one more, then. No? Okay. It's a classic thing to put on here. I think Archmage would be pretty sick. How about we put the bomber up here? Yeah, that'll be solid. Ooh, I know a unit I want really bad before the next one. Let's go ahead and put this down now. I want a middle tier five here, preemptive strike being able to slap down the uh, Moabs as they spawn. Looks like our damage is incredibly over what we need it to be right now. Great. Yeah, we're doing very good on this round. Wow. Wow. We almost have enough cash to buy Paragon at round four as well, so... It's looking pretty good. I just had to figure out what I'm going to spend money on. Okay, I got an idea. Let's 
Is my vision really that obscured? Sure is. Can I go back here? Oh, we can go back here. Okay. Okay. All the good. Got to be prepared for all of my uh, boomerang monkeys to disappear when I build the Glaive Dominus. Okay, what else do I want? A lot of stuff. Let's go ahead and buy Master Bomber here. tough because I want to wait till the last possible moment to buy the Paragon unit, but at the same time I don't want to wait too long and just get surprised by some uh, something in the opener. How about, uh, this is not the most efficient placement, but I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to do mad on this side. Uh, this one should be more powerful darts. I'm gonna just lock them up here, okay? It's doing the work. Now we can do this as well. It's pretty good. Oh, it hits all the way over here. Nice. Does not appear to mine the trees at all. Does this thing fire through trees? Not quite. Okay, well that was that. How you doing on Pops? You're doing great, bud. You're also doing great, bud. Let's go ahead and go in here somewhere. Oh, I saw a spot. It's gonna be Pirate Lord. Seems fun, because it is. I'm also going to put down another hut over here with M MIB on it. That'll be good. Actually, Homeland Defense increases the attack rate of all monkeys in the radius. I think we have Energizer, do we? We don't. Good call on that. Boss doesn't appear for nine rounds. How many pops these crossbow masters have? He's not doing so hot, neither is he. Our crossbow monkey is going to be very low pops. Okay. I'm going to end up buying the boomerang monkey upgrade here in a minute. So I'm just going to put these down so when the boomerang monkeys disappear, there's at least something to gather these pops in the beginning. It's not even about being good here, it's just getting pops for when I eventually upgrade to the tier 5 um, crossbow, which won't be till round 5. So we do have time to gather pops. Lots of time.
Let's save up enough to buy Glaive Dominus, and then we'll go from there. I'm not convinced we can't beat uh, Tier 4 right now. Well, maybe that's a stretch of our abilities at this moment. Nope, no sniper for debuff yet. Speaking of debuff, you know what we should get right here on this platform? The super brittle monkey? That's the one. All right, we're saving, we're saving. Casual four hundo, no bigs, no bigs. Here we go. Dude, the damage looks pretty good right now. Okay, I'm just going to buy Glaive Dominus right now. Let's do it. This absorbs all other boomerang monkeys. All right. It's only level 15. That's, our, that's okay. And this is going to be the new Glaive Lord. I think this is the real downside to a heavy merchantman strategy. Let's get these placed again. There's only Paragons for Dart Monkey and Boomerang Monkey currently, Stumble. as well while we're here. Alright, we are way ahead on damage right now.
Uh, oh, when the uh, round five shows up. We're good. Or is this round five right here? Not yet. All right. Get crushed. All right, that was tier four. Fair enough. Twelve rounds till the boss appears. Jeez. I feel like we got a decent amount of pops up here. Uh, I'm gonna wait till the boss shows up to convert, though. What do I want to place in the meantime? Let's just start placing some tier five units. Uh, I think one of these would be really good. Go up here before the portal. Looks great. I think uh, one of these would be great, too. This guy is going to be the Alpha Apex Plasma Master. There we go. It's a mouthful. What about up here for an Archmage? Archmage is pretty cool. Can I get this guy right here? Just let me let me upgrade him. Oh, I had it right, right there. Okay. Get this upgraded then. Uh, I think the top one's gonna be Avatar of Wrath. Still eight rounds here. Okay. Probably fill out this with some stuff. How about we put a Legend of the Night down here for funsies? I don't plan on moving them. Just cool unit. Yeah, Sniper Tier 5 is a good call. That'd be a nice one to have. Sure, sure. Putting them up here is where it's at. Right there. That's the one. Well, we certainly got some pops up here. It's not, not a small amount with all these tier fours down. Okay, you've got six rounds now. Well, smart me would do Permabrew Alchemist, but I don't feel like shuttling that fella around right now. Not even close.
All right, let's save up enough now to get the uh, Apex Plasma Master for 350k, and then we'll go from there. Here he is. Uh, damage is already looking pretty good. Uh, we're now going to make this Paragon unit right here. Uh, do it. 39. All right. All right. That's good. That's a good happenings. He's, do he's doing that thing he does. Look out, he's doing a thing. Looks like nothing else is required here. Now that gives us a decent idea of what to do on the Elite version. A lot more HP on the Elite version, but we were ahead on Wave 2 and 3, so I think it's within reason. Also, this placement for the uh, the Paragon is really good. Really good. Uh, Gary, the Paragon was in between... Here, in fact, I'll just load up a map here so I can just tell you real quick what the Paragons were. So I want to uh, solidify this strategy for myself. So I had a uh, Crossbow Master right here, which turned into the Paragon. I had Crossbow Master here, which was very underperforming. I'm not sure how to get the boomerang uh, higher level. Probably have to overcrowd like this area. Uh, another thought is to put only boats down here and then put uh, units over here to absorb pops as well. We can kind of section off this area and this area on the map for dart monkey and boomerang monkey to kind of do their thing and then fill in the back layer with uh merchant men probably gonna be it but elite blunarius will have to wait for another day that was a good uh a good regular victory probably be checking out elite blunarius later in the week maybe tuesday Yo, Radver, thanks for 87 months during that. Andre versus World, sorry for missing you earlier. Appreciate that 25. Garangatang, 59 as well. Let's head into uh, the Spelunky 2 daily now. This will come with a prediction. We'll just see how it goes, man.
All right, Daily's been out for a few hours now, about four. All right, let's pick our character for the daily. That is going to be Jay, my daily dude. The spelunker with the best attitude. The best of the best. My main man. All right, before we kick this thing off, going to start a prediction right now. Uh, this prediction will be very simple. We make it to Cosmic Ocean or no. Ten minutes on the timer for the prediction. Good luck to everybody that wagers. Uh, while we're doing that, I'm just going to stand up stretch once more here about the 11 hour mark of our all day Sunday broadcast. We'll return momentarily to kick off the Spelunky 2 daily and see where it takes us. Catch you in just a minute for some more fun. Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks for your patience during that brief one. Let's see where the prediction's at. 
And yes, we have been going a while today. We are doing the starting day of each week, Sunday right now, uh, as kind of an all day 12 ish hour stream. This is our third one. Been good. Almost 2 million points in the pool. 61% yes right now at 11 hours into the stream. You all are brave. Very brave. Let me take my hoodie off for all the brave people that believe in me. All right, here we go. Oh, what just happened? My chair's in the wrong spot. That's better. All right, it is time to take the penguin, put it in the hole. Let's review the rules of penguin. Oh, get out of here, Colin. Uh, gonna, the penguin lands here on this tile. Good. This tile, okay. This tile runs probably cursed. Oh, corner pocket for Jay. All right, this is it. One time to compete the daily. Yo, TCO Dan, thanks for 51 months, dude. Enjoy that lurk. Strong lurk and very strong support today. Thank you all for the continued opportunity to be here and entertain you. We will soon be headed into year 10 here on Twitch. Just a pleasure to hang out and have this place to enjoy video games with other people. Thank you all for making this place what it is. So I can't get in there without a bomb, but there is a crate. I'm just going to let that go. I'm gonna let that go. I'm not going to let this mole go, though. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, you're dead, mole. Take that, you mole. All right, we're good. Feeling better already. That is one dangerous nugget, man. I'm gonna leave that nugget alone. I know how to get it. I just don't. I don't like the way it looks or feels. Me and my 1,900 bucks are out of here. Hey, Abadora. Thanks for a tier two 12 month sub. Appreciate that. Okay. Okay. Um, what do? Definitely using a rope for this. This is a no-brainer. Cape, okay. Key's not, like, up here, is it? No? All right. Okay, here's the... Oh my god. I don't want to die, though. I guess I'm just going to use two ropes. Three ropes? Oh, man. Alright, I don't want to be on one rope. I'm going to use a bomb and a rope here instead. a good noise. I definitely don't want to be left ropeless. That's not a good feel. This is a dirty level. Oh, 
All right, another shrine. Cool. We are currently six sacrifice points away from juicy cup goodness. Okay, well, there's four sacrifice points. Um... I gotta whip this gold over the edge. Anybody else down here? Like, any cool, cool sacrifices down here? I think I can get that lizard up there. I don't see why not. Let's tame this turkey real fast. Oh. Wow, that was an adventure right there. <laughs> there was a mole here the whole time. Get up here, you stinky mole. All right, that was a success. There's the exit and a not really dead guy just shambling around down there. Uh, that's a hell no. I'm good. I'm good. Later, Tater. clear answer to that right now I could, you, I could drop down and whip it but this would be nicer that's tough man Oh my god, the double dead guy just bamboozled me there. I was I was clueless. Like it won't be a double dead guy, not this time. Uh what's going on here? Oh, I see. I see. Alright, he's gonna give up that right hand side here, no problem. We jungling. I got shoes, I got a cape. And make this work. Just had not look at him. There you go. So many lizards around here, man. One more. It's the difference right here. This is the one. Bloop. Alright, I got shoes. <laughs> You're dead, sir. You're dead. Okay, paste is very nice to have. Top tier item. That is very dangerous down there. Holy guacamole, that's dangerous. 
Also very dangerous. Holy guacamole. That did not work. Am I really forced to use a bomb here? Just say no. I am not. What's in, what's in this cubby here? All right. Hmm. No. I am good. No, I'm gonna get hit with the uh, the boomerang if I do that. Okay. Leprechaun, huh? We'll take that. Very interesting. Was this a voice echoes level? It's freaking big in here, man. Gotta be voice echoes, right? Okay, it is. I'm not going crazy. Okay, at least we found the X. We got plenty of time here. This heckin', heckin lorge, dude. It's very difficult to get into. I'm just going to let this uh, idea go. Uh, is this making it any better? Um, no. I'm alive. We got out of the level. It was huge. Good money there, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nuh-uh. That's not permitted. Okay, black market's here. We heard the blip blap. It's close. All right. Can always come back out here, so let's just check it out. We still gotta find the sister and stuff, but we can grab the clover, see what the black market's about, decide what we're doing with our cash or potential cash. Spring shoot, glove, liking that. Power pack, eh. Alright, we sprung in. We got a glove. We got some glasses. Feeling good. Definitely buying some ropes here. Alright, let's go see what the rest of the level is about here. Got some oodles of time. Either we're leaving with the Hajit or we're not. Either way is okay. I'd prefer to have Hajit. Okay, Saw Sister down left. Hajit costs 40k. So anything past that, we can buy ropes or other things we want. This is a very awkward place. 
gonna move him down here. Boomerang, please. Cool. No, no bomb required to get her. Not even a real dead guy. Aha! Uh -huh. Hmm. It's definitely not enough for Hajit. It's not like a really convenient bomb here either for it. Let's see if we can find one in here. I want like a double or triple gem. I don't want a bomb for a single gem. Feels wasteful. Fine, I won't buy your wares, sir. I'm gonna check out what's in this box then, though. And I want these ropes. What's in here? All right. Buy compass too, because I'm here. Let's go buy the cat and get off this level. Not a bad haul, all things considered. Bow time. Yo, Dexter the Dragon, thanks for 70 months. I'm glad you could make it today, dude. Been a very fun all day stream today. crate to me. Is that a crate over here too? That is not a crate. That is also very much a scorpion. Ropes, great. Alright, that's where it's at care a lot less about gathering money on this particular daily because we already got to the black market. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to bomb for that cauldron. Big time. Holy guacamole, that's gross down there. You see that? Gross. Nope. I am definitely like totally cool on that, thanks. Seed's a bit of a monster. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Alright, let's just let that go. That's a lot of money over here, though. It's 
it's not worth it, but I'm here. Give me that juice. <laughs> oh, man. That was a near disaster. Boomerang guy over a spike pick. Classic Spelunky, dude. Classic. The situation right here, also classic. Let's go. No evidence. Let's go. Wait, did I get sister here? I don't think I did. I'm gonna miss out on bombs if I don't do this right. Where's this sis? Probably down there, huh? Okay, bottom left corner is where it's at. I'm gaining 12 bombs to do this. I'm getting three bombs right now, so it's plus nine bombs for getting this last uh, sister here. I'd say it's gotta be right here. The only place left. Huh? Huh? Alright, it is time. You know, I don't got a lot of bombs this run, but I got enough bombs to do Olmec in the hole. Let's make this a reality. It's enough. There we go. Was that so bad, little Jay? Just looking, just looking. Now that jungle biome was out of control. Well, you know what time it is. Get out of here, not even dead guy. What a shame. Climbing all the way up, all the way. There you go, Jay. Time to take that Olmec, put it right into the hole. Get 10 push-ups on the way down. Here we go. Set complete. Nice job, Jay.
another power pack. Are you trying to tell me something, game? Is this run going to end in an explosion? Is that what you're saying? Okay. Hello, madam. I brought my finest Spelunky bucks. What's the game? Well, bomb bag, that's a pretty stellar find. Odd man, these rolls though. Give it up. Let's want some sevens here. Hover packs interesting. You know what? Okay. go. No Haji, we're not pulling the sword. Oh, hey, let's not fall into that little cubby and get poked to death repeatedly. Hover indefinitely with the hover pack, but you do not gain any height. This only uh, maintains your current horizontal trajectory. Here we go. There's the entrance right here. This is way back here. It's gonna go for it. Yep. yep. Alright, looking for pillars here that have stuff in between them like this one. And this one, I'm going to clean this up with a few extra bombs. Just so I feel better. Yeah, I just misplaced that. Whoops. Okay. Let's try it again. Just don't use all the ropes here. Just most of it. And we're off. Thank you. 
Oh, snap. Alright, so we're going to have to do some whip strats here. That is definitely a crab that I want to see what's in the box with. Here we go. Get all the ropes. All right. Bring you over. Let's grab our clone gun now. A shifty crab there. Okay, you can live, sir. You win. Just what, what we got to do here since we didn't get Hadji in the black market. Getting there over halfway now. Doing pretty good on damage taken so far. All right, home stretch. If you have the sword, it's 20 hits. If you have the whip, it's 200. We didn't have access to the sword this run and the equipment we wanted in the black market. Alrighty. What is the tablet for today's daily? Tall Gold Vortex. If you're doing the daily, it's also Tall Gold Vortex. think waddlers it's right here no what do upright okay right here Pretty good down there. Don't fall down. Not done killing you yet. All right, so we're not gonna get that juice and that's okay.
Is that guy dead? Not quite. I'm gonna let that explode. Let's go. I want out of here. Oh, sweet. Urn room right away. Let's uh, double check here. Tall gold vortex, what I remember. E. Raylina, thanks for two years' support. Appreciate that 24 months. Tall gold vortex. Tall urn with a vortex on it. That's gold. Let's go the other way. That looks gross. It's tall gold eye. Tall gold bat. There's tall gold vortex. That's the one. Man, that's tough. Okay. I'm gonna do this. Oh yeah, no big deal. Camera, huh? Okay. Ooh, let's get out of here. Yo, Zegra One, thanks for 21 months. Thank you. I am definitely ready for the revelry. Please don't kill my dog while I'm out there. Thanks. Oh, no, that explosion didn't sound good. My dog okay? Dog's fine. I don't feel like that's actually the way down. It's over here, more than likely. Okay, there's double trap thing there. Let's do this. The elevator go all the way up. Pretty rowdy. Sun Challenge B on 7 1 is the next question for the clone gun. Definitely going to swap from hover pack to yellow cape when that time comes. I would take a jet pack if offered, but hover pack served its usefulness, which was having an easy uh, onk skip. Okay, well, there it is. 
Great. Go find Waddler. There he is. Nice and easy. Fix this. And this. Do one of these real quick. All right, this is totally sorted out. Oh God, no. Oh no, are we dead? We're not dead, good. It's almost dead, that's all. Okay, this got borked. No, oh, we're dead now. Whew. That was scary. I should have just taken off my back equipment before that. But here we are. Is there a cape in here? Oh, do I really have to anger Ton now? I do, don't I? That's tough. Okay. She should be fine for right now. Here. Oh, there is a cape in the corner. Hold on, I saw it. Thanks, Waddler. Hmm, let's do this too. Was that gonna break the box? Okay. I will gladly clone ropes. Gladly. God bless. Got one of those back at least. This is not even the right way. Uh-oh. Spaghetti moment right now. It's all spaghetti in here. It's bad. I made it just in time. Okay, shrine here would be nice if we find the damsel. I got one health left. <laughs> you got me, Sunken Temple. Very nice run. All right, congratulations, Doubters. You win that time. Over 3 million channel points in the pool. Amazing. Thirty-three sounds about right. I'll take it.
All right, everybody. It's been a really fun uh, all-day stream this fine Sunday. Thanks for the almost 12 hours of stream today. Had an awesome time playing FTL, Balloons, and Spelunky. I'll be back at it on Tuesday around 12 p.m. Pacific to do it up once again. Until then, keep it dapper and be good to each other. As a reminder here, going to run three minutes worth of ads, the only ads I play for my entire broadcast. But let's play. Thanks so much. If not, thanks for the time you chose to spend here. Have a wonderful uh, night, everybody. We'll catch you again on Tuesday. Have a great one, Nag Captain Dukowski, Hakomis. Take it easy, Zealousy, Dantel, Can't Think, and everybody else. Until next time.